Domino's, we make more than pizza. That's why we changed from Domino's Pizza to just Domino's. But no one really knows. That's because thousands of stores still use the old logo, including mine. We're fixing that. We're updating over a thousand stores this year. Order any of our specialty chicken, pastas, sandwiches, or stuffed cheesy bread. Choose any two, including medium two-topping pizzas for just $5.99 each.
All right, guys. Uh oh, is the audio kind of messing up? Warp drive active. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll look for it. Hi right, guys, welcome to Rescast TV. I'm still kind of trying to put things together here a little bit. <sighs> trying out a different ship fit tonight. Um, kind of piecing something together and Ram and Jester were kind of helping me out too a little bit ago. Appreciate that. Okay, I need to change. All right, when I get in station, you guys could help me remember next time I get into a station, I need to change my overview settings so that my travel shows threats. Uh, I'm sorry, not threats, so that my so that my uh, one of my tabs shows um, uh, like relic cans, things like that. Okay. Uh, am I still muted now? now can you guys hear me now or am I still muted I shouldn't be muted Actually, let me adjust that though okay good 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 anyway good evening ladies and germs actually you're not germs ladies and gents sorry that's not nice oh that's okay Let's see here. What do we have? Um, it's crawling up. I don't know if that was my dog laying there or, or hit me with his paw. Or I don't know what that was. It felt like something was crawling on me. Ooh. So I gotta say, uh, last night we, uh, for Streamer's Choice, we played Hawken all night long, and Ram hopped in for quite some time, and that was awesome. And also had uh, Azure popped in, and Preach even hopped in, and played some with us uh, towards the end of the night. So all of that was muy cool. We'll just go straight over. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I'm finally at the point where I'm starting to look a little bit more, uh, not just popping in and 
shredding in the game, or not shredding as I'm not really that great, but actually starting to pay attention to my mech loadouts and things like that. So, it really was, Ram. It, it was really a blast. I love that game. Oh, excuse me. So tonight I'm trying out some, like I said, different, uh, different, uh, ship fit. Um, and, uh, you know what else I forgot to do is I forgot to rename my ship. I need to do that. Um. Warp drive active. Can I do it in space? Set name? Yeah, I can do, uh, um. Let's call it Buick. How about that? Oh, you know what? I didn't check. I'm... <coughs> Excuse me. I really hope I'm not getting sick. Number one. My wife's been sick. So, um, hopefully not getting sick. But right now, what we're doing is we're hanging ahead. We're gonna head to a station um, that is selling. Um. Okay. That is selling some stuff that I need really cheap. So we're going to head over and do that. Um, may do an Estero giveaway a little bit later this evening. Um, not completely empty on cash, but running a little bit uh, light, I would say. So may not be quite as aggressive until I cash out some of the stuff that I've been... Um, that I've got kind of spread throughout uh, some systems... That I have gotten from exploration. Um, so once I get a chance to kind of gather that up and, and sell it, we can start looking towards that again. Go ahead and jump. Don't forget we've got ResCast TV. Well, you could always win another one. I, you can win one per night. That's kind of the rule. I try to make sure that you only get one per night. So, but uh, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming back, J-Roy. Good to see you. How have your adventures in Eve been uh, since your return? Oh, excuse me. Let's adjust that background sound there a little bit. Conches, butches, peace. Let's see. Is it move on? So pretty. So pretty. Let's see. Oh, pretty fun. Not played much this week, but I've done a bit of everything. Some mining and anomalies is pretty profitable, even from uh, 0.5. Oh, yeah. So, gotcha. Gotcha.
Also, have a fully outfitted Heron for exploration now, although I've not been any dude. Gotcha. Oh, nice! Skull related destroying. Cool, cool! All about those skills, man. Interesting. Now it, it now it does that. Docking permission requested. Request Captain Thunderwalker, hello, welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out with us this evening. Just doing some, uh, or going to be doing um, maybe a little bit of exploration. Playing around with some ship fits tonight. I don't know, just kind of monkeying around. Let's see here. Uh, oh, yeah, I already bought it. <laughs> uh, lovely. Ooh, yeah, so this is a problem. I am way over on my power. Wait, no CPU, was it? Yeah. I need 15 for that. Yep, pretty much. I need 21, so I need 36 CPU. Uh, it is. Yep. Yep. That's typically how I do my uh, exploration stuff. I know it doesn't have all the bonuses of the Astero, but I like that I can fly through uh, bubbles. Yeah, hey, Sparty, how's it going? I know, I knew somebody was going to mention it. <laughs> I was really hoping I could just see if G popped on and she's like, or he would be like, why are you, why do you have the ca a cargo scanner? I don't know. I was just thinking that because I'm going to have kind of a slower lock time that I, I, I know. Okay, I'll remove it. You're right. <laughs> uh, remove them, huh? So, we had a big debate about this in uh, in in-game chat, and the reason why I have them there is because when I'm streaming, sometimes I, I realize I can do things that make me turn and warp quicker, right? And that's the key to not getting scrammed. But. Uh, so, um, the problem is because I'm sitting here streaming and I'm chatting, I tend to not necessarily see the second somebody comes on field. And so I was kind of hoping that the stabs would help me give me another second or two. Flamingos, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, your caretaker had to create a new account. Hey now, <laughs> what did you do with your old account, uh, to get, get the boot? Um, Anyway, so I don't know. This is kind of an experiment tonight. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should just go back to uh, uh, Ram, which you sent me initially. Which was uh, what do I? What did I have? It was um, oh, it was the nanofiber um, structural integrity, structural stuff. Hang on a second. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, okay. Very cool. Well, no hate coming from this way. 
Um, alright, so... Okay, so let me look at this then. Um, because these things are eating up a lot of, uh... Wow, they're eating up quite a bit of CPU, yeah? So one of the reasons why I switched back... I'm allergic to Warp's core stab. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it's my allergies acting up because my wife has been sick this week and I ran out of allergy meds yesterday and I live in Florida and so it could be either one. Um, let's see here. See, the thing is that the stabs have actually saved me before. And that's why I kind of have it. So here's one thing. I'm going to run with them. Well, but they, they eat up that. Problem is I can't run with them because I don't. I don't have enough CPU. And running with one doesn't really do you a whole lot of good probably, right? Hmm. All right, let's do this. Oh, nice. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's the thing. So it's it's either two or none, right? Um, these are uh, inertial stabilizers. Inertial stabilizers. All right, so let's do this. I would actually leave them in if I had the CPU to spare, but I don't. So I'm going to go back to the other fit uh, RAM that you sent me. Um, so do I run two inertial and two nanofiber or do I run four nanofiber? Well, that's true. Yeah, there's this this thing won't take much of a hit. Why would I need uh oh, for exploration because the whole concept is that I've learned. I mean, initially, you know, when you first start playing the game, um you think, "Oh, if I have, you know, stabs, I'm good." But it, it everything that I'm hearing is basically if you've gotten to that point, actually, I think Sperdy just said it. If you get to that point where you have to worry about stabs, you're almost dead anyway. So, um, get nerfed so bad. Okay, so I'm going to look at, uh, along with these two uh, inertial stabilizers, I'm going to add uh, a couple of nanofiber internal structures. And I think this ship was a two second turn to warp. So, whoops. Let's go back to where I was. Well, shoot, I'll buy four of those just so I have them. At that price, I'll buy that for a dollar. Okay, and that should allow me to bring that online and that online. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, high sec is no bueno. I mean, it's... I remember the first time I went out in high sec and did mining. Um, I think uh, Grillism was actually my channel, or one of the first times. And I actually scored, like... Um, I mean, it wasn't huge, but for me it was huge. I was in high sec and I scored like, I don't know, like 10 million worth of uh, uh, armor plates. Or something like that. Metalonian Eve, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate you hanging out with us. This is Rezcast TV. It's a collaboration between myself and Preacherman23, who is uh, usually streams on Tuesday, Wednesday nights, and sometimes Saturday. Um, we're kind of collaborating to kind of get content out five nights a week, sometimes six. And uh, typically I'm streaming Eve uh, or Hawken, like last night for Streamer's Choice, and he'll stream iRacing or um, uh, 
Euro Truck Sim. We do Fallout, things like that. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us. I do want to point out to you guys that we just did our 200th follower giveaway last Monday. It was a $20 Amazon gift card. Uh, as soon as we hit 300, we'll probably be giving away something uh, along the same lines. So um, stick around. Uh, once we hit 300 followers, we will probably give it a few days of, of talking about it on stream so everybody's aware of it. You will need to be a follower and in chat to win the night we do it. But uh, thanks for thanks for hanging out with us and following. And let's see. Gosh, I'm sorry, guys. Hang on. Mm. Uh so, all right, so, how do, so what, what should I drop in here? What do I, I've got, uh, I've still got plenty of CPU and uh, some power. Is there something up here I could drop? I cannot use, I cannot use, oh, you had this RAM. You had a, um, a uh, what do you call them, a sucker, not a sucker, a, um, yeah. But I can't use that yet. Let me see here. I can't run an ECM either, I don't think. What, ECM is high slot? Mm, let me look. Yeah, that's medium slot. Oh, I got a medium slot. Oh, dupes. My bad. Yeah, I'm still off of ECM too. Hey, Infidel, how's it going? Oh, hello. Diaphoration, how goes it this evening? Why are you using that ship? Oh, good, I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it, uh, Flamingos. I gotta get used to Flamingos now. Um, I don't know, because I'm feeling like being wacky. Something a little different. Why not? Oh. <laughs> Good, good. Uh, just real busy, you know. Um, finally got to vacay last week. Preach, uh, Preach and I had uh, vacation. He flew down with his family, and uh, our families kind of got together, and we uh, we stayed kind of in town here um, near the attractions. We went out to the Space Center, um, had a blast out there and stuff like that. Bonuses to this. Well, there's ships with... Yeah, I know. I know the... Um, I know the... I've got a Stero. I've got a Stero floating around here and there. Um, but I've just... I don't know what it is. I've just had great luck with the um, with the NTs out here. I know I lose some scanning bonuses, but overall I seem to do okay, and it keeps me out of trouble with the uh, with the bubbles. Techno module with T1 Explorer ship can easily do null sense. I'm not going to listen to anything you say. <laughs> I don't need you making any deliveries to me. Uh, so you know what's funny, uh, uh, Diaphoration is uh, is do you ever actually like? get serious in chat but nobody will take you seriously because they always think you're up to something does that ever get old or are you just always up to something so you expect it it was good it really was yeah we did um some medieval times a lot of pool time the resort we stayed at had a um, lazy river thing um things like that you're always serious about deliveries right you crack me up man you never troll me <laughs> um not on your main account. Gotcha. But you will make deliveries on your main account. It's still hard to know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, so uh, like I said, I want to welcome everybody here to ResCast TV. Uh, it is a collaboration between myself and PreacherMan23, who has the night off. Friday nights are my night to stream. We're streaming Eve, as you can see here. Um, we do iRacing, Hawking. Uh, we did Hawking last night. That was fantastic. Torini, hey, hey, what's going on? Um, we are also, um, got a YouTube channel. You can check out our links below. You know how that goes, guys. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty stock and standard. We're just trying to put on a good show. And our whole point of doing a collaboration is that we can stream at least five nights a week, sometimes six. And, uh, and we can get you, uh, varied content. So, uh, if you like racing, space games, robots, Fallout, things like that, you'll see that here. Let's see. What do we have? Uh, I'm going to plug in to be up to something. And even then, it seems like too much work to try. Ah, Yeah. Teaching exploration to my friend. She flies a pro level one hacking. She has 9% hacking success. Wow. I don't have that high of success. Um, let's see. The hacking minigame is 9% player skill. Yeah. My skill in that is is still not great. And I think the reason being is because the, uh, the tools that you can get as you're hacking, I'm still not 
I still don't understand which one is best for which. So that's I need to read up on that a little bit more. Uh, keeps messing. I'm a, so flamingos. Just so you know, I was looking when I got Fallout Vegas. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I got it through Steam, and I was looking at Fallout Three because several of my friends that are Fallout uh, fans, such as Preach, said that they believe that Fallout Three was a better game than Fallout New Vegas. But on the Steam community site, it said that there were issues with Windows 8.1. Now you can make it work, they said, but it took a lot of kind of hacking on it. However, they said if you could buy Windows New Vegas, there are mods that basically let you play. I don't know if it's the exact storyline or, or how that works of uh, Fallout 3. So. Yeah, I mean, I've got kind of the number counting thing down, although I tend to get a little quick um, on where I'm going with it. But um, it just takes time. Um, I was watching uh, I was watching one of the other streamers that pops in here a lot, and, and but he hasn't streamed in a little while. It's kind of kind of sad, but uh, let's see. Yeah, yep. It does. Um, yeah, Windows 10 in five days. I need to go uh, actually reserve my uh, free copy. Um, I'm not a Windows big Windows fan. I mean, I appreciate the fact that games run on it. Um, but uh, I was a huge win huge Windows guy uh, for a long, long time. IBM ThinkPads. Uh, then I moved to Dell and uh, tried Apple for a little bit, but their PowerPC chip just didn't cut the mustard. Then they went Intel, and they've got the Unix-ish back end, and, um, and that's been it for me. So I kind of prefer my, uh, my Macs, although they have their problems as well. Uh, let's see here. Plus, I do a lot of work on Linux environments and things like that, so it's just a little easier. Let's see. All right, so here's what I'm going to roll with. Um, what else can you guys recommend? Since I don't have the skills for an ECM and I don't have a power fluctuator, anything else you guys can think of that I would want to throw into these slots here? Uh, the high and the, and the mid, because I'm going to roll with what I've got here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's possible. I mean, there, I, think, I think the guy said it is possible to do it. You're just going to have to dig it up. Oh, something else is I changed a setting here that sh I, that should not block links. Uh, as long as I permit you through Nightbot, it should now let you post. So, um, I'm not putting data on there because it seems like every time I go to a data site, bad things happen. Um, so I'm running more relic sites. Data sites either give me squat, or I get popped at data sites for some reason. I don't know. Uh, not combat. Uh, just probably probably looking at uh, relic sites. Although. I don't know. I may if I don't find something else. I've got a, a data analyzer, so I might as well throw it on here. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, data sites, bad sites. It's pretty easy, my friend. Yeah, right there. Good to go. Good to go on that. Um, I mean, here's what I've got right now that I could throw on there. It's I've got my like I said, I got the T2 data analyzer. Um, I was just throwing the cargo scanner in there, and I know that's kind of bad form. Um, just because I was concerned about the time I've been sitting on. Um, the time I've been sitting on um, sites has been uh, a little lengthy, especially. I was also thinking about the fact that I was going to be running stabs, potentially, and that was slowing things down. Um... I don't usually fail. Sometimes that'll take me a second shot, but. Oh, is that what was eating my CPU? Is it? Even once I took it off, I still didn't have room for my other stuff, though. Uh, five teraflops. The, uh, the stabs were eating a huge amount. They were eating 35. Uh, you know what? This is not uh, this is not um, cap stable at all, if I remember correctly, or fit like I've had similar to this one is not. So that's probably a good idea. Oh, really? Gosh. like a million miles away. 
Well, yeah, I know it, uh, it won't be, but but I mean, I, I'll get more time um, burning if I've got the cap recharger, right? This is okay. So I just want you guys to know this conversation you guys are having right now. I love this because this is how I learn. This is, you guys are awesome. Um, no, you are correct, Captain. Uh, I will not be. Um, that's true. Yeah, I mean, if I was out doing some uh, some missioning or something, maybe, but. Um, this is it right here, right? This is my uh, capacity is set in seconds, so yeah, that's true. That is true. You won't be. So, all right, I guess I'll just throw a data analyzer in there. Anything high slot you guys can think of that I would actually be able to run. I guess uh, leave my options open at least with uh, with the data li data analyzer. Ugh. Oh my goodness! Really, <laughs> forty seconds? Um, I could throw a salvager in there, but I don't. I don't know that I really run across much that I would. I mean, I haven't really run across anything. I've never, I've never really actually done salvaging. I guess I could. Um, did I have? I thought I had one here actually. I, I ended up taking it off because I never use it. Hey, right, diaphragm, is that with your with your I'm coming to deliver bombs hat on, or is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You got to expect that. Uh, okay. So are you still, uh... Oh, uh, I guess that's true. Um, let's roll with what we got. So, I'm gonna do something here. It's not gonna make a hill of beans difference, I know, and everybody can yell at me all they want. But... I'm gonna make things at least a little more challenging. I'm hoping you're serious about teaching tonight. You're proud. You know, it's funny you say that, because I swear that's what I've heard. It's like, oh, you know, if you're running stabs, you're you're already it's it's already too late at that point. So you guys give me just a second. I'm kinda setting something up right now. Okay, there we go. What do we got? Stabs are garbage. Stabs are used. I'm a little disgusted that you've leveled both hacking and archaeology to five, but the fit is great. How did you see that I've leveled that? I didn't even open that up on the screen. To be honest, stabs could, should come with a hidden countdown. When it expires, your ship explodes. <laughs> oh, can you look me up somewhere, I guess? Why does that disgust you? Oh, I see. Are you joking when you say it disgusts? I mean, obviously there's some level of joking there, but what do you imply by that, I suppose? Uh, by the way, guys, uh, I want to appreciate, or I want to tell you, ugh, I'm tired today, boy, I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, I want to welcome you to ResCast TV. I want to let you know that we've got a ResCast TV in-game channel. It's uh, right here, ResCast TV, all one word. Feel free to stop by. That's a pretty bold statement. But I don't know enough to argue with you. 
Some of these skills, by the way. Huh? Not right now, thanks. I'm married. <laughs> Did I say something that sounded like that? Uh, the game is 90% player skill. Once you understand the mini game, you shouldn't fail even with bad skills. That channel now. I guess I have to log in now. Yeah, sure. Oh! <laughs> no. No, uh, just working late and um, uh, just couldn't sleep. I don't know. Had a hard time sleeping. Woke up really early in the morning. Um, I was just not feeling great. That's all. Nothing fun like that. Um, bye bye. There we go. Sorry, a little slow on the uptake tonight. I'm telling you, and I'm, there's going to be more of that. Although, one good note is my wife is on the way, or when she is on the way, to bring me coffee. I guess I should finish that sentence. It's to bring coffee. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. Yep, yep. Mine are older. I have 19, 16, and 16. All right, let me get back into the swing of things here. <laughs> Not. I don't think the stream will stay on the air very long. I do, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, let me get situated here. Uh, why did that not? I know I clicked that. Does it not finish loading my turn? Loser. Do they give you that much? Oh, the probes. Yeah, I've noticed that they aren't cheap. Well, let's check, shall we? Wow, I can't type either. This is just a comedy of error. Errors. They're not that bad, actually. They're not that bad. I got them here for about 800,000. So. So we'll see. Next time I'm in the station, I'll look for some. Well, that that is very true. That is very true. Okay. Um let's actually go scan something. Let's go scan something. I, I was actually thinking I was going to stay in system, so I was holding him in, but that's okay. The probe launcher is insane expensive. Yeah, I think I've got one that's uh, that's for a scan and one for a hack. Oh shoot! So 
So guys, I don't have our follower goal set up on the um, condensation. Set up on the stream screen uh, tonight. Uh, I will get it set up probably uh, probably tomorrow night or something like that. But we try. We are trying to get five new followers, and uh, in order to get there, we need people to click follow. We're trying to get to 300 followers. This is our next big goal. We do a giveaway. Our giveaway with 200 followers last week um, was uh, was for a $20 Rescast uh, branded Amazon gift card. So $20 you can spend anywhere you want on uh, Amazon.com. And so uh, feel free to click that follow button. Uh, Twixt myself and uh, my buddy Preacherman23, he uh, collaborates with me on this channel. There he is, Preacherman. What's going on, brother? Um, we roll about five, sometimes six nights a week. We could be do seen doing anything from iRacing to EVE Online to Hawken to Fallout. And uh, even uh, I think he just got a capture card. He's been streaming some Batman, uh, things like that. So please click that follow button. We're trying to get to 300 followers. We'll be giving, doing a giveaway. Probably something like a $20 Amazon gift card. Uh, help us get there. Help us m make it happen, Captain. All right, let's see here. All right. So that's not, that's not giving me what I'm looking for. So bring those bad boys back in. And be on my merry way. So how was everybody's day today? Hope everybody had a good day. It's Friday. Not too shabby. Got a nice weekend planned. Actually, I plan on doing a whole lot of uh, personal code stuffs uh, this weekend. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change my overview. Shoot. All right, I got to pop into a station here. Mm -mm -mm. I got to pop into a station. I got to change my overview setting. Actually, I can't do that in... Let's see here. What do I need to add to my overview tab? I'm trying to recall. Uh, my primary is Java. Um, I do Java Java web development. I'm basically, I do air quotes, full stack development. Um, and I do the air quotes because I can do front end in terms of HTML, CSS, but I am not a designer, if that makes any sense. Um, so, uh, but yeah, from basically database up, um, I work with, um, you know, Microsoft SQL Server data databases. Although I did just finish a uh, seven week Mongo training course and if you haven't, uh, if you're into if development and uh, know anything about databases, Mongo is very cool. Um, very, very cool. Sure. Hopefully that works. Okay, hang on a second. Let me uh, let me get to a station here. What is this? Do tell. What is this exactly? There, yeah, I'll tell you what. Hang on a second. Let me uh. Docking permission requested. Actually, I did not, but okay. A drag and drop thing for the Alliance tournament. Ah. When is that happening again? What when does that happen? I know that they're prepping for it, right? I've never really watched it well. I watched very briefly, I think, last year or the year before. Oh, very cool. It's Angular. Yeah, see, I'm starting to mess with Angular, too. That's very cool. Run an in-game server. Some jQuery. Nice. See, Angular is something that's new to me. I'm starting to move into that direction, uh, getting rid of... Uh, 
some of our Java web framework uh, front ends um, and moving more towards uh, REST services and things like that. Did you help build this? Oh, yeah. Cool. Nice, nice. Very cool. So can you explain to me what this is? Because I, I, I'm not, I do, just so you know, just so you guys know, I don't fit ships. I'm I, Really what I've done tonight, I've just been really just starting to learn about fitting ships. I'm, uh, there's enough people in here, maybe some of you haven't heard me say this. I'm what I call an old noob. I know I'm not a strange thing that happens in the game of Eve. Some Eve, somebody that has joined several years ago, but never really talked with anybody. And so I've kind of played and quit and played and quit on my own. So this is really the first time I've talked to people and learned anything. That's really cool. So drag selection of ship over to doctrine area to build your squad. I don't under, I see I understand what it's doing. I don't understand how to build that. What it's giving me here. You know the evil guns. Okay, so you, that's your hey, this is all Eve stuff. Do not want. Right, okay. Right. Gotcha. Yeah, I get the, the usage of it. It's very, it's super simple. I see. So it's a builder based upon their uh, their 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 kind of count rules, how they're how they're counting it. Gotcha. Well, there you go, guys. Check that link out. It's very very awesome. Um, I'm gonna. I mean, I pro I'm not gonna be using that at this point because I'm I don't know anything about the alliance tournament. But eventually, maybe ne um, maybe next year, um, I'm gonna save that off, Spurdy. That's really cool. And you built that yourself. That's pretty wicked awesome. And I dig that it's um, I dig that it's angular. I know how that goes. Yeah, especially for personal projects, it's it you get bit. That's actually what I'm doing this weekend. Is I've got a, a small business that I'm starting up for WordPress, doing a, a lot of WordPress development, more on the plugin side, doing some maintenance things like that. Um, but I'm I'm going to start working a little more on the on the theme side of things. Um, but that's this weekend. I'm basically spending a lot of time on that personal project stuff, getting some plugins built out. I got to finish out a site. I got to get some stuff up on GitHub and and maybe work towards getting a plugin actually deployed out but needs a younger person to come in and finish it <laughs> i hear you <laughs> i have that same type of uh of vibe um one of my ui guys uh, uh at work he's uh he's 24 man he's full of uh he's full of energy um energy that i don't have uh but that's okay um but that's really awesome spurty um i don't know if it would be useful um or if you'd want me to um, but I could potentially throw it down in the in my Eve section below here, below the video. You see our Eve section. I don't I don't know how often people look down there, but I can maybe throw it down there if you want. It, so, it sounds like it's uh, it looks like it's pretty useful. Um, but I'll try to remember to throw that down there um, this weekend if I uh, if I actually get a chance to work on that part, which is something else I want to do too. But very cool. Okay, so I came in here. Can you work on the overview while you're in station? Is that possible? people are leaving the, the stream like crazy, I think because I'm just sitting in station. Sorry guys, I'm a little slow tonight. Um, Alright, well, let's look.
Makes sense. I'm kind of the same way on that one. All right, guys. So let's uh, let's pop out. Let me go. Um, nobody in local. Let me see if I can update my uh, my overview, and then let's actually do some exploration here, and hope that I can. Um, And I know this is kind of like the boring part, but like I'm throwing out an undock and stuff like that. What do I need to add to my overview, guys, to, so that I'll show? Um, objects in space like like cans at a relic site is it celestials or entity Preach, glad you can hang out. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to go fire up. Ram and uh, Preach, you'll hear this fire up if you're interested. Connected. Channel switched. Move over to EVE Online. There we go. Feel free uh, under Celestial. Okay. Oh, you want to do a hangout? Oh, I can do that too. Uno momentito, senor. Let me drop out of the uh, disconnect. Team speak. Let me uh, under celestial. Well, let me get preaching, guys. I'm gonna get preaching here with us. So preach flamingos is um is uh, oh my gosh what was your other name it was uh, starts with a C what was it um I know it I'm having just like a a brain moment flamingos yeah flamingos was cr uh, not crash it was um I do apologize flamingos I don't remember. I know your name. I'm having like caretaker. Thank you. Oh, cool. Um, my video is really dark. I have to turn on a light, don't I? Yes, you do, sir. Unless you want to look right. like you're really like menacing. I'm Batman. You're Batman. You've been playing too much Batman. Yeah, just turn one on. Is that okay now? Yeah, your your face is illuminated. Is one okay, or do I need to boot both? Up to you. I can see you. Hang on, let me okay. get let me get you in stream. Hang on, try and do a couple things at once here. You're fine. Do a hangout. <clears throat> I'm actually exporting a video and playing Batman. Gotcha. Oh, man. I finally. Oh man, video stuff. Ugh. We got to figure it out, man. Well, I had to do some major workarounds tonight. But I have a race I'm getting ready to post to YouTube. That's awesome. It's a any car race at Indianapolis. Started seventh, finished fourth. I feel like four is my good number, which is kind of funny because four has like been my favorite number for a long time. Like in all the times I used to play the baseball games on like the Xbox 360 and stuff. Yeah, did you roll the number four? My guy was always number four. Like, even when he was on the Reds, I would make Brandon Phillips change his number so my guy could have four. Uh -huh. 
That's kind of funny. So, you know, four is a good number for me. I like four. Oh, my. Why did it cut your face off like that? Let's try that again. Oh, I see why. Preach, I'm moving a little slow today, man. I noticed. Moving a little slow today. There we go. How about them apples? You know, bitch, oh, when... Brilliant. Brilliant. I think my coffee might be here. I mean, my wife might be here. I, uh... I got Starbucks on my way home. I think that's what I'm getting. Okay. Let me come back over here. 7th to 14th. How long is that? All right. There, my kids are all trying to get my, my puppy out of here because she's going to make a lot of noise. All right. Under Celestial. Um, what do I want to choose here? T -t 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 cargo container, maybe? Um... Other coffees are available. Yeah. Large collidable objects. Search. Search window. I see. Secure cargo container. That would be it, yes? All right, let's see if that does the trick, ladies and germs. What are you guys doing? She's fine. Leave her alone. <sighs> Other coffees are available? All right. Let's no. See. No, there are no other coffee. There are other coffees. Actually, Pete's coffee is really good, but we don't have a store here. We do have their uh, coffee in the, in the, in our grocery stores. Scatter container. Okay. I have. We actually buy the uh, Starbucks coffee to make it home, even. Got it. Thank you very much, Birdie. I appreciate it. Okay. All right. It's already open. Derp. Oh. Okay. Anyway, how was your day, Preach? Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, pretty uneventful. I helped move a piano today, and you know, just did that. Help move a piano. Yeah. How's your back? Oh, it wasn't very heavy. Oh, gotcha. Thankfully. Oh my goodness. All right. It's finally starting to wake up a little bit. Are you humming, Preach? What? Are you humming? No. Oh. I hear somebody humming. Maybe it's in my head. Adam, are you humming? Yeah. That's fine. Ah. No, it's fine. It's fine. I just, I thought it was you for a second there. I'm like, what are you humming? Hey, you know what I haven't done in a while? All right, guys. So here's the deal. Um, I am, uh, I, I like to talk to people about where they are from. It's one of the cool things about the internet to me 
is how it can basically bring the world together, shrinks the world, and makes us ignore the space between us, or at least tries to. For example, basically my best friend in all the whole world is sitting right no, over here. <laughs> and I've met him in person three times. Um, and that may sound weird, but that said, it's, it's, it's been for like uh, a few days or a week or, or what have you at a time. So I'm in Central Florida, Preach is in Indianapolis, um, or just outside of Indianapolis, Indiana. So uh, obviously in the U.S. I want to know where you guys are from. So there we go. Flamingos, you're in Denmark. Oh, that's right. It's, so it's very late for you. Um, Rams in Southern, SoCo, Southern California. Uh, you're English, but you live in Mass. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I love Boston. I love, I love, I love Boston. We had to go there for some medical stuff for one of my kids. And uh, we've spent, all told over the last several years, we've spent probably a little over two months there. And we love it. I mean, it is such a neat town. Uh, especially being kind of a history buff. What the heck? I'm not getting any cosmic signatures, yo. Um, oh, no. So, um, you're at work at the moment. Oh, geez. What are you, a server admin? <laughs> That's I, A lot of the people on here that are working late at night often are working in either a data center or something like that. Uh-oh. New awesome skin's coming. Whoa, those are slick. Those are, oh my goodness, those are awesome. And oh my goodness, I am not alone. Oh, well, I'm going to do the smart thing. Let's do that. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I'll see you in a few minutes. So where's everybody else from? I can tell you one thing, in Central Florida, it's hot. It is very hot, and we're expecting to get a lot of rain this weekend, Preach. Are you really? Yeah, a lot of rain. I mean, that's pretty normal for us, but uh, I think we're going to start getting a little little more roughed up than we have been. Uh, even when you were here, we got some rain, but it wasn't too bad. Um, but, uh, but that's okay. It's free sprinklers. You know, I don't have to pay, I don't have to pay for the water to, to water my lawn. I got to notice. We got all kinds of rain here, all of those. Have you? Hey, has it turned cool yeah. for you yet? I know when you went back, it was warm. Uh, it cooled off this week a little bit, and then um, it's warming up again a little bit. Nice. So warm for you is, is at this point, probably not quite as bad as it is here then, yeah? Um, yeah, warm for us is 90. Yeah. Which is... Don't get me wrong, it's warm. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm ready for us to get a break here. But it won't happen for another month. And we still have August, which is really our hottest month. Yeah. It's been pretty mild for us compared to... Daddy. What? Can I buy this and give you $2? Only if he gives me $2, too. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Why not? You don't need it. So where in England are you from, Spurdy? You know, the only thing is I sometimes I feel bad asking this question because like, we get so many people come through here, and I'm sure I've asked some of the people the same question. <laughs> like, if they haven't been here for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Oh, where are you from? Oh, wow, that's cool. I've never known. Blah, blah. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did talk a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh, you're killing me here. You are killing me. I'm not stopping for one cosmic signature. Buckinghamshire, uh, actually born in London, but left. Uh, yet, I, from everything that I've seen, it's um, it's quite crowded, uh, that London. So I, I do understand. I think what blows me away is that to drive through London, and there may be cities in the U.S. that are like this, I'm just not aware, but you have to pay a congestion charge while you're driving through, or I'm, I'm assuming there's probably some sort of a pass you can buy ahead of time. But hey, here we go. Finally, something I can do here. But uh, I was just blown away um, 
by uh, by the congestion that's, that that uh, that I've heard is in London. Um, my real only gauge, and you know, this may be bad, um, but I actually do watch uh, some of the British television shows, and one of them that I love, and some people yell at me for it because they feel like Clarkson's a, a big old jerkwad, but I still love the show anyway. Is, is Top Gear UK? I'm a huge, massive petrol head, and um, it's just the right amount of comedy and cars and all that jazz. So, um, so anyway, my point to that is, is that that's a lot of that is what I've seen. I have a friend that just came back from uh, from England, um, and uh, he and his wife went there on a uh, on a honeymoon. And so, um, you know, you hear a little bit about that. It's uh, definitely the once the kids are, are grown and gone, my wife and I are definitely going to do. Probably a good bit of time in uh, in England. Yes, Clarkson Island. Yes, I love this shit. <laughs> or I love this. Hello, Hello. I'm, I'm on Jim. An island. And I'm not just Any island, because this, this island is, is Clarkson, Clarkson island. island. And unlike any other island, <laughs> Clarkson Island. <laughs> The oh gosh, Harry is hilarious. In the world. In the world. <laughs> I've never seen the whole clip. Is that we're great. There's even a mini Clarkson like me. <laughs> and a mini Clarkson like me. <laughs> what Clarkson's as such, but we talk a bit like him in the world. Probably <clears throat> the thing that's most like your genuine Clarkson is we pause in the middle of our sentence. Right. <laughs> that's brilliant. Thank you, Spurdy. I'm gonna go watch that some more. I've only seen the small clip where Harry's doing the talking. I, I the Harry Enfield was talking. I haven't seen like that full bit. That's brilliant. I love it. Um, but to be quite honest with you, uh, I, you know, Hammond's really cool. And for whatever reason, I just dig James May's uh, just his whole his whole deal, man. He's just so awkward and weird. It just cracks me up. And then you mix in the fact that they drive amazing cars that we don't really get much of over here. Although, Preach, have you seen? You guys, if you don't like cars, talk amongst <clears throat> yourselves. Have you seen the commercials for the, um, the Alfa Romeos that are going to start selling over here now? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. They have a growly sedan that that looks like they're going to start selling over here, and I I don't know any specs on it, but my guess is based off the the aggressiveness of the and sportiness of the commercial and the look of the vehicle, I'm guessing that they're sh they're targeting the um, kind of like the 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 Lexus. What is it? Three hundred or three seventy? <coughs> and the BMW lower BMWs. Oh yeah. Um. It, it, that's kind of the feel that I get out of it. Uh, Top Gear was excellent before Clarkson. It will be again after him. Well, yeah, because um, I know for uh, for a fact they've locked down. Um, oh, who is that cat? I love him too. He's great. He's he's on the radio for you guys in the morning, right? Um, I know his name. I'm having another moment. Um, who is this, Sparty? I'm trying to remember who he is. Not Jimmy Carr, who, by the way, I think Jimmy Carr will be good on there. Chris Evans, yes, Chris Evans is awesome. I love him. I don't know if it'll be the same Top Gear that I've gotten used to. Uh, I, I've never really seen the episodes uh, pre, you know, the new Top Gear, uh, other than a few clips here and there. But oh mercy, let's see, let's do this. Let's see if that one's it. If not, then we'll look at the other one. But Chris Evans, yes, he's hilarious. He cracks me up. And then on top of that, his car collection is kind of insane as well. You'll have to like the American Top Gear now since British I, ones. I do like the American Top Gear. It's just not the same show. It's a different show. Um, I like it from an entertainment value. Top Gear UK I liked from an entertainment value and the cars. <sighs> Most of the old cars that they show on the U.S. Top Gear are just kind of like beat up old trucks and stuff. Um, although I do dig some like the old rabbit and stuff like that was pretty cool. Um, and I, I gotta say though, Tanner Faust, I, I'm kind of go hot and cold on him. 
some shows I see him and I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe he's kind of kind of get a little bit more of a personality. It's fun to watch. And then I don't know, he'll get a little dry on me for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. But I did I I, actually think he's the worst part of the show. At your at your urging, I did uh, have a period where I was starting to go through. Matter of fact, I think that I went through all the ones that were available on Netflix, and I did like the show. It, it's just as long as you look at it, is it isn't Top Gear UK in in any way, shape. Or, I mean, yes, there's three presenters, and yes, they do kind of some crazy antics, but it is not it is not Top Gear UK. When they stop doing, when they stop trying to do everything like the bridge Top Gear did, yeah, it actually got better. I agree with that. I agree with that for sure. I won't argue with that either because I do think it is a better show. But to be honest, with you, I mean, like, you, it's hard to beat the original on something. So, oh, it's always that way. Um. Now, Forza 6 doesn't have the Top Gear guys in it, right? I mean, it would make sense that they don't now because, you know, Clarkson smacks somebody. Yeah, I don't think it does. I really felt bad for the BBC there because, um, in my opinion, I mean, obviously Top Gear, I believe, is the biggest TV show in the world. Um, I, I don't... I really didn't need to scan that down. Um, if I remember correctly, from a viewership perspective, uh, obviously it is... Um, It's it's a scenario where you've got your one of your, I would assume, biggest money makers, from an audience watching perspective, but at the same time you can't have somebody going around poking people in the face, <clears throat> you know. Yeah, it, it's it was a tough place to be. I think sometimes I think in some ways with that, Clarkson's own ego kind of was his own downfall. Sure, but that's I mean that's kind of who he is. Like so, for example. There, I'm not a big uh, hero worship guy in terms of, um, uh, like, for instance, I'm a big baseball fan. My favorite player ever is Chipper Jones. And I went and I got his autograph one time, and I like to see him play baseball because I respected how he played baseball. That said, I'm not the type of person who hero worship. I don't like get, like, I wouldn't start stammering if I met, like, you know, him in per a person where I had a chat to talk with him. or It just doesn't work that way with me. Um, and there's a lot of famous people that I have zero interest in meeting because I believe it would kind of, ruin the experience they have an act on tv that's what i watch and and you know that's how it goes um and so um yeah i mean it's definitely not something but on the flip side i'm also big time um uh, this is me not to turn anybody off but i'm also kind of a freedom of speech kind of guy in the sense that if somebody wants to say something as long as it's you know they should be able to say it and it's up to bbc to say we don't like you saying that and we're gonna make you stop so I think all parties involved have their own responsibilities with that kind of thing. But, um, but I'm, to be honest with you, I mean BBC, I mean they, they have done well with with Top Gear. Um, I was so pumped to hear that Chris Evans is getting brought on, though. I really, really was. Um, I heard Jody Kidd was supposed to potentially be a host, and then um, I don't know if they ever considered Jimmy Carr, um, which he might be too goofy for it. I'm not sure. But it will be a very different show, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It just, um, I won't apologize for the fact that Top Gear is literally one of my top fa three favorite TV shows. Top Gear UK, ever. <laughs> so, so Preach, I was going to ask you, um, so this week you didn't have the track for the GT3. Do you think uh, next week you're going to have the track? Or is it going to be a little um, while before you have a track for GT3? Because I know you're committed to other race series, so I wasn't sure if like you have some of the tracks included or what. I want to say I looked. And I think next week I might. Cool. Man, what time is it? I have not. <laughs> I'm so. If you look over here, guys, I'm really not running into much that I can. Uh, I can do any kind of um, scanning down. A little onesie twosie action, but that's about it. 
thought my wife was home with my Starbucks coffee. What do you think of Chris Evans, Spur? Do you think uh, think he'll do well on the show? Who? Chris Evans is um, he's he's the new host or one of the new hosts for uh, for Top Gear. I don't know really who that is. Chris Evans. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Preach looks so focused. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was watching a video earlier when I was doing the editing of that um, <laughs> video I put up on YouTube. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I need to turn him up on my side. All right, Preach, you want to say something, see if it's better? Oh, uh, well, let me check something real quick in the settings. Because I had computer sound down to about half, so... Well, hold on. Now it's probably better. That's a little better. What do you guys think? Is that better? All around? My end's probably better because I'm using my mic here now, not the... It was set up to the webcam. Oh, gotcha. For some odd reason. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds better to me. So yeah, I'm watching. But, but you gotta admit, I, I think he's a great fit for the show. Sorry, Preach, go ahead, sorry. No, I'm just saying I was watching that video when I was making the, uh... When I was making the video for our YouTube channel about me getting scared. Yeah. So... I'm watching me play this game, and I'm like, whoa, I look like I'm um, drugged up or something. Because <laughs> I'm just like, you know, it was just weird. <laughs> I was well, like, I got to try to figure out how to not be so... So I noticed something when you were running the green screen uh, yes yesterday when I came home. You looked very dark around you. And I wasn't sure what was causing that. It's like you had changed around. your lighting or the effect on your... Well... Some of that could just be the fact that I was playing at a different time of day. Ding. I don't know. I'm not real sure I understand how to get all that set up completely. So. Oh, yeah. That would be why you were hearing my son hum and stuff. Clearly the wrong mic is being used. We can tell that because you're dribbling out of both sides of your mouth. Oh, just not on the game tonight. I don't even have any bad jokes tonight. The gun gun. I just, they're just they're just not there. One. I will not stop for one. Although I'm gonna have to. Actually a drummer joke. Oh. You know I've always said when I was in high school it was always hard to find drummers and whenever I, whenever we found a drummer, they always seemed to be a little bit different than everybody else. So I've got this theory behind drummers. Drummers can are actually I found like a lot of drummers to be really awesome people, but they're just a little bit different than everybody else. In a good, interesting sort of way. I know I'm generalizing. Ah! That's horrible. <laughs> Why are you leaving? <coughs> what? What do you mean? Why am I leaving? Was there something in that last system? Drummers are special. Uh -huh. Warp drive active. <laughs> The drummer. It was always hard to find a drummer for our band in high school. We had a drummer, and he, um, nice guy, but definitely had some anger issues. Um, and wore had two hearing aids, even in high school. So he's a drummer <laughs> who couldn't hear. <laughs> it was kind of a, I don't mean to laugh, but it was just kind of funny because he'd have his hearing aids. Uh, he could hear, but it just he didn't hear well. But obviously, drums worked well from that perspective, I suppose. Um, 
So, I don't know. Could have had that lower BPC. Oh. I guess I'm going to have to stop and actually start scanning. Even when there's only, uh, even when there's only one. Of course, here there's none. So, we'll keep on trucking. Keep on moving. Moving down the tracks. Big plans this weekend, Preach? Um, yeah, it's weird. We were going to go downtown and ride some bikes. They have this bike share program downtown. What am I... Am, am, I, am I actually... Sorry, Preach. Is, before I leave, because there's this delay here. Am I missing something in this system that I should be stopping to get? Or was it the last system? All I'm doing is I'm looking at my scanner over here on the left. I'm gonna jump. I'm doing my thing, man. No scannable items. You left the blueprint, I think. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm obviously clueless here, guys. What am I missing? Because I'm all I do is I look at my scan probe scanner window here. <laughs> do you know what they're talking about, Breach? What's that? Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, keep... Batman needs me. Oh, you're playing Batman? Okay. No, they keep throwing out stuff like I, I, I could have had this or I could have had that. I don't know if they're joking because I'm leaving one, you know, like one SIG behind and I'm not going to scan down one SIG. Or if there's something that I'm not seeing on my scanner that I should be going to to go take a look at. There's nothing. You, well, you guys can't even see the rest of my screen, so. I'm going to keep doing my thing. Oh, my goodness. Feeling my back is broken. Okay, it's not broken, but get old preach. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> I'm fighting all these like tanks, man. I'm fighting like just so you know, twenty tanks by myself. Based on how bad this stream has been tonight, well, I shouldn't say bad, but how kind of dull I've just kind of been down. Um. I, I'm gonna highlight that face you just. That's gonna be our highlight of the night. Yes, there it is. Anything, anything. You know what? I'm so ready to scan something down that I'm actually going to go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go park myself somewhere. Warp drive. I will say this. The other, what was it? Uh, last night or the night before? No, the night before last. I, I can't, it wasn't this bad, but I was kind of having a dry run of a lot of uh, one SIG uh, uh, systems, and I finally stopped and scanned one down, and it ended up being a relic site which pulled me out like 60 million, so. Not too shabby. Yeah, see, like if you would just slow down. Just slow down, man. You finally scanning. <laughs> I did say we were doing exploration tonight, not just flying system to system. Huh. Okay, I'm on the move. I've got my cloak on and my probes are out. Bloop. And there. And there. Muy bien. Scanning. Ooh, might help my D scans 38360. At least while I'm in this position. All right, relic, relic, relic. We're not going to find out yet. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, no. This What's isn't so good. No? This isn't good. What's yeah, this is how we've Erickson explored. <laughs> Finally, somebody said something. <laughs> we wouldn't say it if it didn't happen. Yeah, if it didn't happen, we wouldn't say that. Uh-oh, where's my other system?
Uh, I would say he didn't exactly explore I the way I am. Um, well, okay, what am I going to say? Chris Columbus, now that we have all the evidence we need that, that Leif Erikson actually found the Americas first? I mean, technically speaking, the Native Americans were here first. Technically speaking. Technically speaking. Which, I'm such a mutt because I'm... Uh, so, we go back. German, French, British, Scottish, Irish. Um, there may be... Dutch, ah, that's a wormhole stink. Um, maybe, maybe some Dutch or some Nord. Um, and then I've got Native American. I've got some Cherokee Indian. How did they find here? They were here. They, so, I mean, by default, Squatter's Law says that they own it, but it didn't work out that way. You're European. I didn't know anything about that. Oh, okay. Well, supposedly, I've heard different numbers, but the... But they've got, I don't know if it's 100% accepted yet. Um, and I know that there's been a lot of, like, uh, strife, I guess. Uh, pew, like, some of the people from Italian descent are like, no, Chris Columbus was first, discover America, et cetera, et cetera. But then there's a whole group of people that say, look, we have enough evidence now. We're pretty sure that Lee <coughs> was here, like, uh, 100 or 200 or 300 years. I forget. I don't recall the, uh, the centuries difference before Chris Columbus ever made it here. So, I don't know. I wasn't there. But I figured I'd throw something weird up in the uh, in the stream. They wrote in on dinosaurs. It's catchy. It is catchy. It's, it's catchy. Like Erickson, you know. It's super catchy. It's super catchy. I agree. Um. They wrote in on dinosaurs. I mean, no. I think they wrote in. Uh, well, we're talking about Lee Erickson. They wrote in on ships. Boats, actually. What they sailed Shit. across the sea in were like that. Took a lot of uh, a lot of moxie to get in something that small to cross that big a body of water. I'm just saying. Warp drive active. Although you put that in quotes, so I'm guessing that's from some movie or something, and I don't remember, or I'm not recognizing where that's from. Uh, that kid, that one kid. What's up? Haven't seen you for a few days, a few streams, I mean. Hope you're doing well. Guys, if you just popped in the stream, this is ResCast TV. It's a collaboration between myself and that guy over there, PreacherMan23. Um, decided we'd go ahead and collaborate so that we could get streams out for uh, typically about five, sometimes six nights a week. Oh, sweetness. Sweet. Emotion. Drive active. I know. I know I really do. I promise you. I am so tired. Um, I'll put it this way. If I wasn't streaming tonight, I would probably be sleeping. Been busy with Eve War. Nice. Killing and being killed. Batman's being all detective right now. All right, be right with you in one second. Whoops. There I go, double clicking again. Nice. Just blobbers and ship spinners. I've done my fair share of ship spinning. Okay, not doing it. I'm gonna have to like switch my um, stuff to combat sites at some point because there's just so many of them out there. But I don't know that I have all my skills uh, uh, learned up that I need yet. All learned up and stuff. Still, uh, still working on training stuff so I can do. Oh, guys, this is my wife. I'll uh, put y'all on mute for just a minute.
Ah, okay. Coffee is on the way. What? 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 All right, who's here with me? Hmm. All right, let's see. It is amazing to me how much cloak slows you down. I get it. It's just... <laughs> I am not... Uh, I think we had this conversation the other night. I am... Whoa, there's another cosmic signature that just popped up. What? What? <laughs> Sassy lass, are you really Mrs. Ram? Awesome. Preach, you hear that? What? Mrs. No Ram, up in the house. Welcome, welcome to the stream. It's an honor. <clears throat> it is an honor. Yep, yeah, I, I know. But I tried that. Uh, a week ago, and I got popped. I don't know why. I, I'm still too noob. I got to run with the NT for a little bit longer. I know at some point I got to break out of that comfort shell. Uh, I would like to run with the Astero with the scanning bonuses, but even the Astero is still a little bit, a little pricey for me to run out there. Um, well, Sassy Boss, I'm <coughs> glad you still high. Uh, that's that's. Mrs. Ram had to come cool. see what her husband's been doing for the last three months. I'll tell you what, your husband. He has been like a super awesome friend to the channel, uh, to Preach and I both. He's been doing really cool stuff for us by uh, just hanging out, watching my back when we play Hawken or when I play. Well, yeah, we. You played last night, Preach. Um yep. He's been awesome. And can I just tell you, I actually kind of enjoyed it. What? Does that mean we might see you on the battlefield sometime soon? Possibly. Yeah. Wow. Ram, you hear that? We're going to get old Preach out there on the battlefield. Anyway, so I got to say this, uh, Sassy Lass. Uh, you got yourself uh, a good guy right there. Ram is uh, Ram's, uh, one, one super awesome dude. Uh, yeah, I wish I could fit a Kobe Ops cloak to an Inti. That would be like perfection. It would be awesome, <laughs> but I, I, I think it would be a little, little, a uh, little too much. Oh, it's a data site. Oh, so here we go. It's a data site. But if beggars were choosers, horses would ride. I'll have it. This is. I'm glad I fitted that uh, that data analyzer. All right. I'm hearing opera music. Pass. No, pass? Really? Should I just keep going? Next system. You know what? It just dropped off my scan because I closed in too tight. I'm, I'm pulling them in. I'm going on. I think you're right, Ram. Every time I try to go into these data sites, I end up regretting it almost every ah. single time. Guys, that bad news. What's that? Batman just died. What? You killed Batman. Wait, you killed Batman. How do you kill Batman? What'd you do that for? Bullet. I thought he had like bullet protection systems. Can't believe I did that. Oh my gosh, Batman! Can you can you can you just imagine the funeral procession? It's gonna be so. <coughs> in Gotham. It can't be because. All the bad guys are taking over now, because Batman's dead. All right, what are you going to play now? <laughs> All right, I don't know, we have probably Call of Duty, I guess. All right, I got two of these guys, and I got two, two, two. All right, I got two, I got two cosmic signatures. I don't need the parts, and I do tend to, for whatever reason, I just have bad luck with data sites. Either I don't get anything good, or I tend to get popped. 
Rock on with your bad self. All right, so we've got a probe set out. We've got ourselves out to a station. We're, or not a station. We've got ourselves to a bookmark location. We're going to align there. We're going to throw out some probes. We're going to throw on some cluke. We're going to open up that, uh, that there map. And we're going to do some scanning. Dude, have you ever watched Sling Blade? I've never actually seen the movie, but I know the character. No. Hang on. Sling Blade... What? Let's see. Well, it's probably not a good idea for me to do this. Let me let me do this in a bit. Um, somebody showed me this today. Uh, it was my boss. He showed me this. This guy goes through a drive-thru, right? And he does his, his whole order. It sounds like it's a Starbucks or something because the, the order that he puts in. He does his whole order with the sling, sling, sling blade um, voice. The, the guy from Sling Blade. Hmm. Oh, crud. Oh, crud what? Thanks. You're welcome. No, Batman... <laughs> <is> <laughs> First bad joke of the night. Oh, it took a little while, but I got it in. But I'm gunk. All right. Zoomed in. Let's see here. Uh, where did I put it? Let's see. Okay, well, that's doing that. Let me come over here. To browser. Ugh, wormhole. Ugh. All right, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a real exciting. I can feel it in my boons. All up in my boons. All up in my boons. So this Rocket League game, have you heard about this? No, I have not. Oh, I think you mentioned it. You mentioned or somebody mentioned it in stream maybe the other night. Yeah. I feel like it's something we might need to check out. Oh, yeah? New game, ladies and gentlemen. All right, you ready for this? This guy goes through the drive-thru like this. It's hilarious. Um, a picture in here, and, and I went way over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> Here. Mm. What you got in there? Good date for a gal. That's fixing his daughter, period. Jason! Mm. Oh my god. Okay, that's not the one that. <laughs> that's not the one I watched earlier. Um, Here we go. This one's it. It's an experience that resonates with people. Yes, sir. I was kind of looking for something other deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can't hear anything. Oh, you can't hear it? You oh, wait. That's because I have to. I don't think we do, unfortunately. <laughs> well. Skinny vanilla latte. You said vanilla? Skinny vanilla latte. You got a skinny vanilla latte in there. Ice cream. That got coffee in it. Ice cream. Coffee kind of make me nervous. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. We want one of those. Nice, right, Ken. You said you wanted a skinny vanilla latte? Yes, sir. Is there anything I'm going to get for you? How's his wife do? You got any sweet tea in there? We do. Let me get a big one. Let me get a big one. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't reckon I ever heard of it. Yes, you want a binti. Okay. Is that a big one? <laughs> no. Yeah, I can. Okay. So that's a grande latte, vanilla, and a binti shot. 
Does he hit? I reckon that'd be all right. <laughs> God. All right, Ken. Jason. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's hilarious. I can watch that multiple times. Uh, oh no, we got a split. Um, you gotta admit that was funny. Hi, right, Dan. Mm hmm. Well, I thought it was funny. You know what else is funny? I laughed. I, I laughed. laughed. Why are you trying to force me to laugh so much? No doubt. Oi, I you... laugh when I find something funny, okay? What are you doing trying to make me laugh all the time? Don't do it. It's not funny. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm for Clemped. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just want to let you know something. If you're interested, last night's, not last night, two nights ago's Brickyard 400 is now officially on YouTube. Nice, guys. Go check it out. Go check that out. Preach had a really good run. It's another data another site. That's uploading right now. Mm. That creature that scared me, I hear him. Mm. Oh, in your game? Yeah. He's gonna scare you again, isn't he? Dude, that thing freaked the crud out of me. Uh oh, preach. We lost. What? We lost a sub on YouTube. I saw that. What? Who did we offend? We only at thirty-five guys. You wanna go follow us on YouTube? That'd be awesome. We are. You got something else uploading there? Oh, yeah. Okay. See him. I just saw him. Where'd he go? I hear him. And... There he is. Hey, this Here we go. Preach. Ready? Hey, this is Chad. Oh my gosh, it's not picking it up again just because I changed the window. You know, I gotta be honest with you. I like OBS, and I know it's free, but golly, it's a little frustrating at times. You know what I mean? What? You're busy trying not to get scared from that monster. I'm trying to actually catch him. Catch him? Yeah, but I don't know. Here we go, Preach. Here we go. Hey, this is Chad. Oh, wait, hold Damien. on. Hey, and you're watching Rescast TV. All right. What? Gamer for life, bro. Okay, that last part doesn't go in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it. By the way, guys, the animation here on the screen was done by our very own Ram 21 champion. Chad, you can even hear me. Uh, he was awesome enough to take uh, take the awesome work that Preach had already done and uh, and threw the animation in there and, and that was pretty darn swanky if hey, this is I do say so myself. Alright, let's see. That was from our trip last week when we were at uh, the Kennedy Space Center. Alright, let's move along little doggy because uh, we found ourselves yet another data site so we're gonna we're gonna move on here. Yeah, see, it's, it's, OBS is great. I love it, and as a developer, I understand developing a product. <laughs> it takes time to get it smooth, but um, but I, it's it's such a great product. I just want a f it's just a few more things to be ironed out. I would I would be very very happy. But uh, we'll make it happen. I I don't even I don't even know what's an is it an open source product. I think so. Is it? We can write plugins for it. Mm, it's probably written in C. I don't do C. Well. Excuse Here's it. I have a three month. I have a three month uh, code for, for split. Yeah. I don't know if it splits anybody. Anybody else? Uh, hey Dan, how's it going? Anybody else? Um, hey Dan. 
you sl uh, split before anti sling blade activist. Okay. <laughs> X split. I have a three month code for it. I just hate that they charge you for the premium. Ooh, holy cow! We got cosmic sigs. And yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. We're good. All right. I feel gold. Gold, every gold, and then there are hills or cosmic sights. Yeah, see, that's my thing. I've heard the same thing. I've heard exploits like it's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. Pick your poison, kind of thing. Typically speaking, OBS is free and and is largely issue free. Uh, not completely, but. Probes out. I am moving. I am cloaked. I am mapping. All right, first up, first dip. Here we go. Scanning it down. Oh yeah. No. Yes. Dang it. Yeah. Buzz, buzz. I was too slow. Oh, hey, we got some new Facebook likes, too, by the way. I think we're up to uh, 13 on Facebook. Guys, you can go check out our Facebook page. We're trying to get our custom URL there. Oh, but that was somebody uh, liking my happy birthday on their Facebook post. I like them French fried potato. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never actually seen uh, the full movie. I've seen bits and pieces of it. But the character, you know, is obviously, I mean, uh, fairly classic. I'm not a big movie buff, to be honest. Um, it, it seems to me like the movies that I really like tend to be movies people think is really, really bad. At the wormhole, no wormhole for me. I almost talk like Leif Erikson. So if there's anybody that is Nord or from Wait. that part of the world... How do you know what Leif Erikson sounds like? He's from Norway, right? Or no? Yeah, was yeah he but from Norway? I don't think he spoke English. Okay, look. All I know is when I go to Epcot and I go on to the ride that is now closed because they're turning it into Frozen, um, the Norway ride. You are, now basing, you are now basing... They your hire people from the countries that are represented there. In hey, but they were born... Since 19... what? Oh, okay, Sassy Lass is asking. Hang on. So, um, Hudson Hawk was a movie that apparently was critically slammed. And I actually, for some reason, I like it. I don't know why. Um, uh, Mel Brooks, I think, is hilarious. So I like a lot of his movies. Blazing Saddles. I like History of the World. Um, I think those are some of his... Uh, Piece de Resistance uh, is maybe Blazing Saddles or History of the World. Um, I do like Spaceballs, and I do like um, Robin Hood Men in Tights. I don't think they're necessarily his best work. Um, let's see. Um, Denmark. I'm not sure. Let's look, shall we? He was Icelandic. There he is. He's from uh, Iceland. The first Norse explorer to reach America. See, that's my thing is, is that my accents turn into other accents, and then I wreck them, and then I feel bad. Um, see, yes, Mel Brooks. Then he's awesome. like, then he's like offensive with them. I know that's, the, but it happens. I told you what happened when I was working at the airport. Uh, when I was working a, um, I was working, <laughs> I, was, I was working a, a Virgin Atlantic flight. And we got bored. I mean, we were just, we were taking bags. I was 18 years old. We would take the bags and we had to say the same things every time. It was a, you know, please bring your bags to the belt. You can pick them up at the main terminal, blah, 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 blah. And so we would have fun with it. And we had a Virgin Atlantic flight come in. And Spurdy, please don't yell at me here. But this is what I, I was like. Uh, the flight attendants were coming off. And I'm like, oh, come over here, love. You can bring your bags here. You can pick them up at the main terminal, side B. Uh, and they'll help you out over there. So whatever. I was doing like a hardcore, like, like really laying it on thick. And it was probably better than, than it is now. And she comes up. She goes, oh, are you from England? And I said, no, I'm just playing around. <laughs> anyway, we had a lot of fun. And then I had another time where I was working uh, an Aeromexico flight. Uh, yeah, I did kind of sound like Count Dracula. <laughs> you want to, want, come over here and fly my ship. 
Um, yeah, Spurdy covers ears. I know. Well, so it's funny. Okay, so I was going to say, I was working on an Aeromexico flight. And so for Aeromexico, we had to say, Maletas a la Correa, Reclamación de Cabaji, Terminal Principal, Lado B, Segundo Piso. And so that basically said the same thing. You bring your bags over here. You can pick up the main terminal, second level. And, uh, and so in Spanish, they would say, um, um, uh, gracias. And I'd say, de nada. And one of the um, ladies I work with was Spanish. She says, no, 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 you're saying it wrong. It's de nalgas. And I'm like, de nalgas? What do you mean? She says, instead of de nada, it's de nalgas. I'm like, I don't trust you. She goes, no, you say it. And so for a whole flight, I would, they would say gracias. And I'd say, de nada. Well, apparently, de nada means your backside. And so I did that the whole flight, and that explains why I was getting very funny looks. <laughs> but she worked for the or she worked for the airport itself, and so I'm like, you know what? She told me to say it, so I'm gonna say it. And I just kept getting chuckles from everybody. It was coming off the plane. It was hilarious. Um, and then okay, you said something else. Um, Princess Bride all the way. Yes, Princess Bride is amazing. Yes. Oh, I love that movie. Love that movie. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, <coughs> Banned for saying that? Wait, Spaceballs is my life? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, a total troll. It wasn't. He was banned because. Oh, hold on. I gotta read back in chat. The caps. Oh. Um, no. I have not seen Stardust. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, let's see. Um, I did like, now I will say this, one movie that I did like that a lot of people liked, uh, that I actually went to the movie theater and watched, was, um, uh, is it Galaxy Quest? No, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's what it was. That one just came out, like, last year, didn't it? Yeah, but I don't go see movies. Around. Like, people are like, hey, you know that one movie? Like, today my boss made a movie reference, and I actually knew what the movie reference was. Uh, let's see if you know it. He's like, don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. That's Groundhog Day. It is Groundhog Day. Yes, very good. Is it? Okay, well, I may go check it out. Let me put it on my list. I've got such a long list of, uh, of movies that I have to go see. Um, oh, yeah, guys, by the way, if you're just stopping by, feel free to click that follow button. We've gotten, I believe, one or two. I think we've got two follows this evening. We're trying to shoot for five every day. We did a 200 follower giveaway here at ResCast TV. Uh, we being myself, QRDS2, and Preacher Man over there. I keep pointing the wrong way. Preacher Man 23 is over there. Um, collaboration here on this channel, so we can try to stream five to six nights a week. Um, our 200 follower giveaway last Monday was a $20 Amazon gift card. And when we hit 300, I anticipate we'll be giving something along those lines away as well. Could be a Steam gift card or credits. Could be an Amazon gift card. Either which way, we want to show our appreciation for you guys following us here. And that's kind of one of the ways we can do it. So, let's see here. Spurdy, how bad was my British accent? That was a really bad one. And so it's funny because um, some of my relatives are from the, the North and, and, and have only been in this country for about 100 years, for about a century. My great-grandmother uh, came over... Uh, my dad's side uh, around the 1900s, early 1900s. Um, and then, uh, but on my mom's side, we've been here since, um, well, um, Spurdy, since we basically were the, uh, uh, the colonists that came across and, and uh, we had a little spat with England. So they fought in the Revolutionary War. And so we've been here, half my family's been here. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Look, look. We're not sponsored by Starbucks, but I do love to have my Starbucks on occasion. I do too! Oh my gosh! So, have you found this? Here's my problem with Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, you're in Massachusetts, so you've got Dunkin' Donuts like crazy up there. My problem with Dunkin' Donuts down here is if you go to Dunkin' Donuts first thing in the morning, it's okay. I mean, the coffee is basically what you ask for. But if you go to Dunkin' Donuts starting, say, in the... Can you please take her out of here? Because the show's not about her. It's about space. <laughs> um... For whatever reason, when I go to Dunkin' Donuts, and it, without fail, every Dunkin' Donuts I go to, it's not one specific one, anytime after, say, 11, 12 o'clock, and I buy get coffee, it's lousy. It is horrible. It's not made the way I want it. I've tweeted Dunkin' Donuts. I've got no response. It's horrible. Uh, better than your American one. Fair enough. I'll take that. Uh, oh, I was going down this path. Though. So on my mom's side of the family, uh, they've been here since, you know, since 
way, way long ago. And so I'll get around some of them because some of them are, are from the south. And so um, I'll start picking up some of that. Yeah, sure, that'll be all right. We'll get along with that. Let's go down to the Starbucks and we'll get ourselves coffee. And uh, it'll be tasty. Yeah, it's just my whole country accent will start coming out. It's really scary. Yes, we do have Wawa. Um, and I kept, okay, so I kept, <gasps> I kept hearing about, that's the Wawa. That is so funny. <laughs> I just told Chad about that. He was down here and I'm like, okay, there's this Wawa. And it's like this, everybody was telling me it's like a gourmet gas station. Like they actually serve food. They fix it there and all this stuff. And so everybody here starts going there. My kids went, my wife went, all my neighbors were going, oh, you got to try Wawa, you know, for a gas station. It's amazing. They make your food right there. So I went finally, um, I don't know, about uh, a month or a month and a half ago, something like that. And they are, by the way, J-Roy, they are popping up everywhere here. I mean, they are everywhere. And they're forcing the other gas stations to build out to be much bigger uh, gas stations. Um, and so I had a sub and I had a smoothie. And they were good. I mean, it was uh, you know relatively inexpensive and it wasn't bad. Um, I would, I dare I say, it's better than Subway. You had an addiction to it when you were in Florida? Well, I'm, it's, it's, I just, it's a little weird to me to go to a gas station for, for mood, food that's prepared for you, but... I don't know. I, we'll just get along. <clears throat> I go to Speedway for breakfast a lot. Speedway? Yeah, but are they mm -hmm. preparing you food, or are you just picking up, like, a hot dog or something? They make uh, breakfast sandwiches. Like, right there in front of you, make it to order? Well, no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying that's, that's what, because there have been other gas stations I've been to that have hot food, but the, it's like a restaurant inside, like, they make it to order. You go to a menu, actually, it's a computer system. You Are you saying that, dude, I was down there... I missed out not going to one. You're coming back in January. We'll go to one. Okay. Promise? Yes, I promise. We will. F there are Wawa's everywhere. It almost is. It's almost like a, a quick little uh, fast food restaurant. I haven't tried the coffee, so that'll be my next step. I'll have to give that a shot. Uh, so was oh, yeah, guys. So please feel free to click that follow button. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, next stream is going to be Monday night. It'll be me again. It'll be another Eve night. Oh. And I uh, don't know what we'll be doing then. You can eat there and get gas in many different ways, Dan. That was crude, I know. I was just joking. There you go. I got my weekend all set. Is it that good? Has anybody else seen Stardust? There we are. Trying to sneak out on me. <clears throat> you know, it would be cool if you could get, like, the community together and, like, watch a movie together. <clears throat> but that would, of course, get, like, backhanded hardcore. Bye. By, copyright peeps? Yeah, by copyright peeps. I don't know why I clicked that again. That was so Wasn't there a uh, feature within the Xbox 360 for that? I think there is, but that's through Xbox, right? They got the big dollar dollar. Yeah, and I think everybody had to have Netflix and like a, a, an account, stuff like that. Sorry, my dogs are so thrilled my wife is home. Which I am too, but I don't bark about it. Well, maybe she would be happier if you did. Maybe. <laughs> Baby, I'm going to start barking when you come home, okay? I'm going to start jumping up on you and bringing you, you know, like, toys. I probably just blasted everybody's ears. Sorry about that. All right, so we got two combat sites. We've got a wormhole. I do love my Netflix. 
I do indeed love my Netflix. Batman just got chopped in half. What? All right, that's it. You're cut off. You can't play Batman anymore. He's not supposed to die. You got to do a better job of that. Why are you letting him get cut in half? It's looking like fun. Minecraft. Okay, guys. So I want to ask you a question. So how many of you guys are, are Minecraft players? Because... Uh, we used to play Minecraft quite a bit, and we stopped, and I was considering maybe trying to get a hold of a server. Now, I probably wouldn't be able to spend as much to get a lot of people on a server, but I could get a handful of people, maybe. Um, I'm wondering if anybody would watch a Minecraft stream. I know that there are a lot of Minecraft streamers out there. Um, and maybe if we... I'm not sure if I can get a server big enough to handle more than uh, myself and a couple other people that, you know, like Preach and another one of our moderators, Tugarok. But if I could, I don't know if anybody is interested in watching that. This is killing me here. I gotta shut up and actually scan something. I'm gonna bet on this one. <clears throat> Since 1.6, I forgot when I got in, but I've been playing it for a while. What's that? Would you? All right, sassy. I think I think it's something we're gonna. Oh, it's a data site. <laughs> I am playing the new Batman on Xbox. I got a capture card the other day, and so I'm um, enjoying... Well... He's getting cut in half! Is that... A, are you enjoying getting cut in Technically, the half? capture card isn't, like, working... It didn't do anything for us right now, but... Alright. It's a done deal. Preach, we gotta get a, a Minecraft... So I think we'll be looking for something with mods on it. We used to play vanilla, but the mods make things so much more, um... I mean, I hate to use the term fun, but I do like the flexibility that some of those mods can afford, especially with construction projects. One of the things I'm known for, at least in the past, um... I do have a data scanner, but I, I just don't... If I hit one more data site, I'm gonna go for it. But for now... Um... For now, I'm trying to get relic sites because I typically, yeah, <laughs> stop denying your data scanning destiny. Just go for it. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Everybody look at Preach. He looks very sad because Batman just got cut in half. Oh! <laughs> did he get cut in half again? No! Or did you get scared? No. Ah! That does not sound well, sound good. Batman just got shot. <laughs> you weren't dying this much when you streamed this the other day. No, no, this... Okay, this is spoiler. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. You need to give him 15, 20 seconds. Because of stream delay. <clears throat> Warp drive active. Just do it! Yeah, this is... This is... This is spoiler. It's part of the story. He gets shot. Warp drive. Oh, I see. I... Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm agreeing with you here, J-Roy. I don't know if Preacher Man's the man for the job. Reload. You don't think I'm the guy for the job? I mean, I'm not oh, saying man, that's it. terrible. <laughs> the announcements of Batman's latest horrific injuries are cracking me up. <laughs> oh, that's grand. I love it. All right, this is it. I feel it in my bones. I think I felt it in my bones earlier, too, and it didn't work out, but that's okay. I really feel it in my bones this time. Come on, lucky seven. Or whatever you want to roll. I don't really play gambling games. 
Except poker, but I don't really care about the money part of it. I just like being able to figure people out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> this coffee's so good. So I really don't need coffee to wake up. It's more just the fact that it's something kind of tasty and, and, and warm to drink. Uh-oh. That was beeping. Oh, no. Don't say that. It makes me think somebody's near me. Oh. Uh, nobody's clicking the follow button tonight, Preen. Oh. We've got a couple people. Oh, my gosh. i got to do all that again. <laughs> I'm just going to like do the show and let, just listen to Preen's <coughs> noises all night long. That's a combat site. If ever a city that needs cleaned up, I'm not calling preacher man. <laughs> That's what he said. Oops. Uh. Well, I didn't say I was the best at Batman. You guys. That one kid. Thank you. I do appreciate you liking us over on Facebook. You guys don't have to. Like I said, it's, it's this is one of those things where we just enjoy hanging out with people. Um. It's the the reason why we dig the kind of the likes and stuff like that is it's just like anybody else. It lets us know that people are watching. But but um, big Eve pack and sign up for someone's buddy program and just start a focused account. Okay, hang on a second. Um, thinking, thinking. Warp drive. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, in one of those big Eve packages, and sign up for someone's buddy program and just start a focused account. So what's a, you mean a folks count like you're focusing on literally just one specific thing? Oh, Dan. Dan's talking about giving you a game that'll scare you. Oh, uh, no. No way. <laughs> I don't want scary games. I hate scary games. So I remember uh, I was either just out of high school or just at the very end of high school. We all, me and my friends, we all went over to somebody's house. We played, what was it? 11th guest or something? It was like a creepy clue type of game, but we went into the, his, uh, his office, we shut off all the lights and lit some candles, and we all sat there and played the game, and it was hilarious. I played Silent Hill. Oh, that's cool. And I almost wet myself all night. Like, it was so bad. <laughs> Oh, lots of people in system. We're gonna do this a little bit different. Let's go here. Warp drive active. I don't know what's going on with the anomalies. I don't know if there's just a lot of people coming out and eating them up or what. I haven't had this drive a run in a long, long time. I have a Plex that I need to apply to my account. Warp drive active. Uh, that's a Whoa. tank coming in here. A lot of warp bubbles in here. But I don't have to worry about them. There's somebody in here with the name of Lucifer Lipsky, but the Lucifer is spelled incorrectly. <laughs> There's a bubble right there. Um. All right, fine. So how does Batman take out a tank? <laughs> that was good. Would you like to apply that plex to my account? Hmm. Hmm. Feel free. You can if you would like. Would like to. <clears throat> Let's see. What do we have in system? All right, let's see. Uh, bloop. 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 Close enough for government work. 
Maybe that would be fun, Preach, for us to play a scary game on here and stream it. No. No way. Now I think it's got to happen. It's got to be it's comedy gold. No. We would have to have like 400, 400 viewers. We would have to have like... <laughs> like make partner? We would, dude, we'd have to have like a bunch of subscribers crap because ain't no way I'm scaring myself over that. <laughs> that. I'm not doing it. You got to have to take like the, the next day off of work because you're not sleeping for a night. Uh, I did that when I was uh, younger. I watched out. Uh, all right, Flamingos. Um, I watched, uh, it was probably about 12 or 13. I watched It. And I know the movie It by Stephen King is not an exceptionally scary movie on the surface. But clowns in general are just a little suspect to me. I don't have a fear of them, but when you mix them with that movie, it was just a little too much. And so for one night, it was just one night, I was just kind of like, what was that noise? <laughs> I slept on the couch that night. It was hilarious. <laughs> Relic I watched Sight! The sixth, I watched The Sixth Sense. Yeah. Remember that movie? Yeah. I don't think I ever watched it, but yes. Yeah, well, after I watched that, like, I, I couldn't, like, I couldn't, like, uh, close my eyes. I was afraid to close my eyes, like, to take a shower and junk or, like, wash my hair because yeah. I was afraid I'd open them up and there'd be somebody standing there. <laughs> That's how bad I am with those things. I just hate them. I just, uh... You get in your head. You can't do them. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we got to get there quick. Okay, a little descan action. Keeping that going. Now, I'm going to say this. Okay. I've, I've been through this system recently. I'm coming back through it again. There's a person that is in this system right now that was here earlier. So I do fear that they are sitting cloaked. Although, I would think the relic site... Do relic sites despawn after a time, even if they haven't been uh, 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 attacked or hacked at all? Or will they stay there until they're hacked? Like, period. Because I'm wondering if it's somebody that's camping the relic site. I know what I can do. You know, driving this Batmobile around this city, reality is, I think Batman might be as bad for the city as bad guys are. Uh-huh. All right, it looks like there hasn't been anything in the last 18 hours in terms of kills. So hopefully that's not somebody like sitting there chilling. Okay, they only do spawn once they're hacked. Um, okay. Well, let's go and let's 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 hope for a good ending. Oh, yeah, that might help. Warp drive active. <sighs> And hopefully I've got this set right so I can see both the, uh... So I tried getting into them by waiting alien and I... Alright guys, let's watch the overview. You know in the movie when he drives the Batmobile and he just rips up concrete with it and junk? That thing, this thing really does it. Sorry guys, I'm going to be a little quiet right now. I'm not I'm not even paying attention to my hack. I'm so scared about my overview right now. I really I didn't even pay attention to my I don't even know where I'm going with this thing <clears> right now.
Hmm. Nothing new on D scan. He does know how to destroy stuff. That one kid, like, even just watching trailers freaks me out. Like, on TV, you know, something just go... Crap. I'm right out of there, here. and I'm just... I will jump. Go look at the YouTube channel, dude. I jump playing Batman. Gotta get out of here. Stratios is here. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha. Knew it. <clears throat> Dang it. Wrong. Stradio showed up. Warp drive active. No, don't warp back. No. <laughs> oh no, I warp back. Oh, that's not good. I clicked on the wrong one. Warp drive active. Oh, I think she either cloaked or left to come after me. Right. <sighs> Whoa, Batman. 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 All right, I have a bookmark location. I'm cloaked. I should be good for a minute. I always run. Now, I'm not going to go back there because, like I said, I, I saw it. I was suspicious. I'm getting some spidey sense here. This person right here, Mascara Lipstick is their name. They've been in this, uh, in this system since the last couple times I've come through here tonight. So, I'm guessing that's what they were waiting there for. Now the question is, did they cloak or did we see them actually fly off? Because I did not see it. time to go to the next system. All right, so I'm gonna chill, and um, I don't know if they're can't. So let me ask you this. So I gotta go to this gate, okay? And let me look here. There's only two gates, so there's a 50% chance that this person decides to go to a gate and set up some sort of a drag bubble. Let me see. Now there is a small warp bubble out there. I think it's been out there, but just in case. Uh, let me do this, actually. Okay, it is not in the direction of the Stargate at which I need to go to. So, if there is no... Well, the bubble doesn't bother me anyway because I'm an NT. But, if I warp to zero to this gate, I should have enough time to jump through before I get popped, right? So, uh, since I'm bubble immune... Right, exactly. I was, I'm was bubble immune. And as long as I warp to zero, I get less than 2,500 to the uh, jump... Uh, the gate, I should be able to get through, right? I mean, they'd have to lock me pretty quick and, and, to, and fire. Yeah, okay. Alright, in that case... A couple more D-scans on a 180. Yeah, so the 360, I see the small one, and that might have been there. Let's get even more focused. We'll do a 90 degree scan on that bad boy. And uncloak, warp to zero. Nothing could stop me. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. Not here. Snooze you lose their Stratios, their mascara lipstick. Sorry about your luck. Peace. I'm out. Okay, nobody's sitting here. Go back to 100. Scan. Let's get here. Let's do this. Do a warp to zero. Give that a second. Oh, Batmobile. <laughs> I gotta do that. <laughs> Wait, that's... So that's another... Okay, so I love the... Um, uh, Austin Powers movies. More movies that are really high cheese. I know. All right, we have a couple cosmic signatures in here. Now we've got 
two other people in system. Well, let's scan them down. Let's see if it's worth the trouble. All right, we are moving. We have probes. We are cloaked. We have map. We have there. And let's just throw these out. Just get them away from me. Future you? Why do you say... Tell me why you say that. Is it is it the maniacal laughter? Do you do you feel the need to have maniacal laughter in your life? <laughs> or is it just the fact that I'm kind of a dork? Because it works. Future if you, you. If you're not a dork oh, wow. now, it's very hard to become a dork later. We share so many opinions. Oh boy, do I have a preach? Am I opinionated? Not at all. <laughs> And of a dork. See? There we go. People, I have very um, strange opinions on things. It's another data site. No, my destiny is not a data site. Ram! And I refuse to go to a data site and die at one. I died at a data, data site a couple of nights ago. Well, I didn't die, but I lost a ship. Do yourself a favor. If uh, you're you're younger, see, I'm approaching forty. Um, if you're younger and you're the future, if I'm the future, you don't make a mistake. I did because I used to be skinny as could be, like 145 pounds when I got married. Make sure you don't eat too much because that's just it's just no good. Uh-oh. Step away from the data site. What's uh-oh? Uh, I'm hearing opera music. Uh-oh. Relic site! But there's two people in, in here, so... I'm going to have to be really on my toes. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Fine. Gosh. Let me do things the easy way. Scan it down. Yeah, just don't eat. Or don't eat quite so much. Um, my problem was is that I worked at the when I worked at the airport for a couple of years. I worked a lot of hours, and I was skinny, and I was in shape. Actually, at the airport, I was about 175 pounds. Um, I was actually in really, really good shape because I was working. He was here. muscular. I was a ripped piece of gristle. That's what I was. Uh, anyway, um, so, uh, but I worked the 18 hours doing a very physical job, uh, and so I would eat to fuel my body. Um, and then the problem is, I got used to eating quite a bit. And it worked fine. I was, again, I was, you know, I wasn't huge, but I was pretty well fit. Then I got an office job and I kept eating that way and I sat still. And now I have the metabolism of a speed bump. And now I hardly eat anything like this. Coffee is a splurge for me. I don't normally, and even this, I don't have whip and I don't have uh, regular cream. I get coconut milk. So instead of like 400 calories, it's 250. And I know it's a ton of sugar, but you get the point. Okay, good. We got that on lock. We got that site on lockdown. To you right, we got that site on lockdown. I'm going to offend any Aussie that might be in stream right now. That's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start doing accents from all over the world. And they're going to be so bad that people are going to go, what? No. Bye. They're just going to leave, Preach. That's what I'm going <coughs> to so do. So, guys, I have an announcement to make. I will be returning back to Preacher Man 23 <laughs> to stream on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's the matter? You don't like my accents? Mm. Uh, I am, like, nervous to go back here again. All right. There's still two people in system. Uh, 
Okay. All right, we're going to go. <laughs> I'm all kinds of nervous, yo. I'm thinking about just flying around the, the, the site. Gotham City is the creepiest city ever at night. I'm like not even looking at the hack now anymore. I'm just like so... Sorry guys, I'm not looking at chat right now. I'm trying to I'm looking over my overview. Not enough. Oh no, come on, give me something. Anything. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna fail this one. Sorry guys, not paying attention at the moment. Okay, there's a Noctis under D scan. It's not here. Preach. Yeah. Are you at a point you could watch chat first? Well, it doesn't matter actually. They're not gonna see Watch what? Nothing, they're not gonna see anything real time. I was just trying to are you kidding me? Um, Adaro, uh, Q's been playing Eve on and off for like a couple of years now. That's really, really bad now. The the knock 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 this is a solid ship. Okay. According to chat. I wasn't even paying attention, I blew it up. Oh I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, I've never like I've never been this stressed doing exploration, but for whatever reason, like I'm all freaked out right now. Probably because I'm on stream at the same time that I'm doing this and I've learned what are you doing? And I've learned stuff. I know I'm an idiot. It's I'm a complete tool. Okay. All right. Oh man, it's 11:30. I missed a race. That was unacceptable, especially since I had a wrench still in the. I think I still had a wrench in my. I hate those things. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, no, I thought there was something new. 27 mil, okay, I'll take that. Oops, on target. Target, approach, fly there. I know guys, I'm really sorry I'm not paying attention to the chat right now. Bonkers. They're here to watch you play Eve anyway, so just 
Oh, I know. Um, I want to go here. To no. All right, I'll take that. All right, there's that one. Oh, really? Ten grand? <gasps> oh, oops. Forgot about this. Uh, come back over here. Lock that bad boy. Come back over here. Come back over here. All right. Get in a little groove. So Noctis is a salvage ship. Okay, that's good. Mm. Why does Batman hate his sidekick so much? All right, so I'm good there. Robin? He actually doesn't like Robin, it feels like, or Nightwing. See, that's, I'm, that's how out of touch I am. I, I only know Robin. Nightwing is Nightwing is Robin or who Robin used to be. So he became Nightwing, so he's kinda on his own. But then Batman gets Batman gets a new sidekick. Man, I got one good can, and the rest of these are really stinking it up big time. Okay, somebody else just came in system. I need to get better with the hotkeys in this game. See, what I'm waiting for is that last second. Once I've gotten everything in my cargo hold, that's when they'll... Uncloak. Oh, I'm not even using these. Stupid. Not paying attention. Three million. So that site did not end up doing very well for me. I mean, it did all right, but. Warp drive. Okay. Woo! I don't know why that was so intense. Like I've never felt <laughs> so much tension ever doing a uh, relic site, but I guess just that last one's got me kind of thrown right now. All right, so we've got several people in system. How are you guys doing? Let's see, what do we have? It's a holler. Uh, uh, um, two resto node. Resto node, anytime you see it, kill it, you are fine. So the reason why I held off on that resto node was because... Um, was because um, I didn't have any of the other ones up there. But I thought that it might save me. So I guess the problem is then I got a second resto node and then they were like doing this to each other and so yeah so I guess from now on I'll go ahead and kill the resto nodes right off the bat um, and then I'm not really paying attention to the tools that I'm getting so that's not the brightest of things to do but um, I appreciate you hanging with us flamingos uh, I, I know uh, working through the night can be kind of a long long uh, make for a, a long evening so I'm glad we can kind of hang out and Help you through it. Warp drive active. Guys, if you just stopped by, 
This is Rezcast TV. It's a collaboration between myself and that guy over there, Preacher Man 23. We stream Eve and iRacing as our primaries, but you'll also see plenty of, uh, let's see, a while ago it was Fallout a good bit. Uh, you'll see um, Hawkin, things like that. Uh, you I'm just kind of see whatever we think is going to be fun to play. Yeah, yeah. Um, Minecraft may be coming up soon, so that'll be cool. We need to do a little more farming. A little farming, yeah. We got to do that too. Um, Since I paid for that server. Huh. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, we should do that. All right, throw those bad boys out. Throw those bad boys out. All right, there are four people in system right now. So. Throw that out. Click on that bad boy. There we go. Whoops. Close enough for government work. And Batman's got some major leg strength. Because <laughs> he can glide in this glider and just hold his legs up. It's like no big deal. Well, good. Good, Flamingos. I'm glad. Um, we'll let you know because it depends on the cost of the server. Um, they can they they're cheap to get like a single person or one or two person server, but when you start uh, uh, adding more and more people in, it it they do charge quite a bit. Part of that is so I'm a Java developer, and typically you don't build games with Java. Java is great server side for a lot of things, but uh, but to make a game out of Java, it's, it's a very resource intensive game. And so the guy that built it, um, Notch or um, Marcus Person, I think is his name. He's a Java developer, and he was just playing around, uh, monkeying around, messing, messing around, playing, built, building a game, and it just kind of caught on. And so um, I think that's why it's a little pricier to host that game. I'm not sure. Yeah. Hang on a sec. Okay, my daughter was reminding me that the original game for Minecraft was called Cave Game. So, uh, so anyway, long story short, yes, we would like to do that. Um, it, it is dependent upon uh, cost at this point. But that's definitely something that we've talked about doing. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of Minecraft, I wonder if that dude um, that's trying to find, or I don't know, is trying to find the, the end of the world in Minecraft, I wonder if he's still doing that. You remember what I'm talking about, Preach? Yeah. He literally, like, I guess... He just kept going. Yeah, he just started going. That man just died. Jeez. I mean, <laughs> it sounds like he's more like Catman with nine lives. I'm doing a really bad job here. <laughs> yeah, Farlands or Bust is. or something. Yeah, something like that. Preach is murdering Batman. I mean... Feels that way. I think he enjoys it. He murders race cars. Actually, not so much. You haven't crashed much Whoa, lately, Preach. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Ah, uh, sorry. Whoa. Was that too far? Was that over the I'm line? still uploading the video. Where I didn't crash a race car. You haven't, and and again, I'm going to state that you don't crash race cars. Other people crash yours. But you haven't. You That's haven't. True. You've been running in front of the pack, and it's been pretty good lately. Relic sight. What? Big money. Big money. Poor Preach, he's been sick for like two, two and a half weeks now. Yeah, it's getting bad. I'm just done with it. Fallout 4 hype month. Yes. Lots of hype. Oh we really want to uh, pick that game up for the stream. So, um, there's a lot of games we want to pick up for the stream right now, but that's definitely one of them. Um, whoops.
Okay, so we have those in. We have, let me do a scan around here real quick. We have two other people in system. So we'll uncloak. We're going to reload. One hour until I'm off. We'll be more excited if it wasn't raining and there was a mile. A mile to the station. Oh, wow. What are the temp? Is it cold as well? Or is it just rainy? Thought I'd turn that off. Warp drive active. Alright guys, here we go. It's gonna get intense again. Oh, he's doing that for charity? I didn't know that. Okay, alright, so what do we have? We've got all these. Okay. Approach. No, no, no. Watching, watching, watching. I see no ships. Okay, guys. Next week's GT3 race is at Lime Rock. You have Lime Rock? I do. Nice. Do. Oh shoot, oh shoot. I'm Audi 5000! I'm Audi, Audi, Audi! Am I come up on you again? Well, he showed up and then he, and yeah. He sure did. That was an Astero. Man, I'm gonna tell you what. I, it's like I'm all like tensed up. It's like, oh, I don't want to leave the relic site. Oh, I wish I could have a ship that I could fight with really well. Yeah, I know. That's what Diaphoration got me with. Of course, I basically let him get me. Well, you kind of like said, "Hey, buddy," three different times. You said, "Hey, buddy, I'm right here." Wait, I know. Nope. I know. I'm right here. Wait, nope. Hey, and buddy. And I'm then right. I said, hey, I'm going to stand still here for you, buddy. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, well, I mean, it's what you got to do. It's part of the exploration gig, right? You just... So there's nobody um, in system right now. So um, maybe maybe we'll get maybe we'll get lucky on this one. Woo! Okay. See, that, I'm feeling a little better about that. I'm feeling a little better, a little bit better. Um, let's get moving. Let's throw out those. Let's throw on cloak. Let's open the map. Let's click on one of these bad boys and expand. Slide over. Expand. Slide up. Close enough. Fire. Ah, tense. Guys, if you just uh, uh, if you just joined the channel, this is Rezcast TV, collaboration between myself and Preacher Man 23 over there. We're looking to get to 300 followers. We just did a 200 follower Rezcast TV giveaway, and uh, it was a $20 Amazon gift card. And I think we're gonna do something similar. Excuse me, when we get to 300 followers, why would <coughs> you not give a free follow when we're 45 um, away? Yeah, we're 45 away from uh, from uh, 300 followers, and that tends to go halfway quickly. So. Um, you know, stick around and uh, and click that follow button. And uh, once we hit 300 followers, we don't do the giveaway that very night. We want to give everybody a chance to hear about it. So we'll go a few nights. We'll give you a date that we're going to do it. And then you could be a follower. You got to be in chat that night, and you could win. Uh, we had one guy. I think the last guy won. Didn't he follow us that night? Uh, yeah, I think so. So, uh, so, so follow us now so you can hear about it when we give it away. It could happen to you. Let's hey, we're see. back to 36 subscribers. Oh, good. Whoever followed us on YouTube. Thank you very much. I seriously think we should do a 100 YouTube subscriber giveaway. 
because that may be a little while. I use YouTube for everything. When I cut cable, I have become such a YouTube junkie. And my Brickyard race has already got six views. Nice. That's a great race, guys. He really he raced his his uh, his tires off on that one. Every single time his he had what? a good setup. He raced his what? Your tires off. <laughs> oh yeah, I know it was sounding like it was going to be bad, but I was I was yeah. trying to reference the fact that you kept running your you you like had no, good I know clean you runs. Mean. Yeah. Okay. Well, he raced his backside off too. He really did a good <laughs> job. But what I was trying to reference is you actually raced well in that. I mean, it was like uh, it was like a regular race. Like you had to worry about tires. You ran them out to the very yeah. end. You stayed out a it couple of times. It was, it was super fun. You know, I was literally one caution away from winning. Yes, you were. Yes, if you a were. caution would have come out in that before half the lap. Show between one and two, yeah, I would have won the race. Yeah. Keep thinking about that, how crazy that is. Fairy tales can come true. All right, I'll be right back. All right. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. Rez, would you be interested in PvP? I'm teaching my core basic PvP and fleet operations tomorrow, and it could make for an interesting stream. Um, yes, actually, possibly. Um, I may be on. What time tomorrow eve time are you going to be on? Okay, why am I having problems there? Come on. I'll start to 1800 Eve time. Uh, 2 o'clock tomorrow? Okay, hang on. I may be able to join you. Oh, really? <laughs> that happens to me all the time. I hear words and that's it. I start singing the song. Any song goes with it. Uh, let's see here. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Google. Remind me to check in about PvP tomorrow with that one kid 23. Tomorrow at 1.30. Okay, do you want to save this? You didn't get the time right. We'll just do 1 o'clock. There we go. 1.30. There we go. All right, I threw in a, a reminder, so uh, what's cool? Yeah, dude, if you could send me an email, that'd be great. Uh, Liam Fitzpatrick, in-game. And guys, by the way, don't forget we've got an in-game uh, in chat. I want to wave at everybody at in-game chat right now. Howdy, what's up? Yeah, I'm a bit of a, a device geek, so. Oh, that's that's for if you got uh, you can do that with Siri. You can do that with uh, Google devices. Um, some of uh, the depending on the phone with Google, it's a little harder to get to. Um, but um, but yeah, I I uh, big fan of the automation stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my dog is over there just hacking a lung up. Uh, we're gonna go with this one, which means it's not gonna be it because I never choose the right one the first time. All right, Flamingos, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope we made your uh, your time at work go by a little faster. And uh, if you can join us for some, some other stuff, I look forward to it. Um, I dig your new name, Flamingos. Awesome name. Have a good night. Yep, lost it. Told you. I told you. Always the other one. Now, if I had stopped myself and said, oh, I'm going to switch to this one. Nope, no dice. So let's do this. Um. I'm just dropping notes. I keep forgetting to drop notes in here about what everybody's um. 
Twitch stream is. Whoops. There we go. So I'm trying to get better about that. Awesome. I will check that email out uh, in a little bit later. Okay. Thanks, that one, kid. I appreciate it. I do need to get it. So um, I'll read the email, but just real quick, uh, just so I can ask you while I'm on air here, is um, will you give us a, um, not give me a ship, but give us the fit that you want us to roll with or at least some idea of what we should be rolling with? So, these ore sites, are those fairly new? Because I don't remember seeing those before, um, say, maybe in the last couple of months or so. Oh, I don't need the ship itself. I mean, I, I'm not asking for a free ship. I'm just saying for the fit that we should be using. Okay, it's all in the mail. Cool. I didn't think they were new, but for some reason, I just... All I remember ever seeing are combat sites or, or wormholes or relic sites or data sites. I just... For some reason, I just don't remember ever seeing them when I was scanning. All right, I'm going to pick this one. It's further away. This one won't be it. Oh, they're kind of rare. So you need a setup to do uh, like that. That was uh, Icicle Belt. What would you need to mine that? Is it special special mining lasers for that? Preach, where'd you go? Feeling this one's gonna be a booger to scan down. Better profit. Makes sense since it's a little more rare. I'll tell you what, though. I can mine the ever-living daylights out of some Veldspar. It's a data site. Oh, I got somebody in system with me. Harbinger. It's a harbinger, and he's called it the binger of harbs. Actually, that's what I used to fly. It was a procure. Um, okay, so this is a battle cruiser. This dude is uh, somebody that would like to fight. What made you get? See, this is the problem. Is I the, the, the delay. I hate this delay because I don't know what you mean. It made you. What made you giggle? It's kind of a neat looking ship. The Amarian ships. A lot of the Amarian ships are pretty cool. Okay, he is either docked or he is cloaked. Doesn't matter to me because I'm moving on. He's there to protect you. Ah, I don't buy that, sir. I don't. I don't buy that one bit. Mm -mm. Oh. No, that's okay. That's... 
You know it helps to warp, but I keep doing it, I keep doing it, I keep doing it. Warp drive active. Preach, welcome back. Thank you. Whoa, you just got real choppy on me. I hope my internet is not uh, doing its thing again. Then it's probably on my end because I'm uploading a video. Oh, okay. Then we're all good. And trying to run iRacing and trying to hang out in Google. Oh, so that's the that's the smoke we're seeing then. Your poor yeah. machine's all like, oh no, help me. Warp drive. This is time for an upgrade. So this weekend, guys, I'm going to be disassembling my computer. It's uh, basically brand new. I've had it for what two and a half, three months. And I do have some sort of a display. I don't know if it's a driver issue or a hardware issue, but every now and then things will crash and lock up. And so this weekend, we're going to be doing some dismantling of the machine, some basic cleanup. True Sancha Control Tower. All right, so I've got three people in um, system with me. I've got two combat si or cosmic signatures. All right, let's throw them out. See what happens. I've got three people now. All right, I'm moving. I have my probes out. I am cloaked. I am mapped. Whoa. Always freaks me out the first time I do a D scan after my core scanner probes got. I'm like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's mine. <laughs> you want to talk about scary? This game is scary. What are you afraid of? It's just a ship. Wow, preach. Isn't that wow. what you would always tell me? It is just a ship. You don't want to lose it, but that's part of the game. Okay. Again. If people didn't blow up ships, nobody would buy my stuff from exploration. I need to get uh, some of the uh, some of the overlay stuff set back up for my Eve. Um, I think I'll do that probably this weekend. In terms of the like our latest donator and our latest subscribe or follower, and um, the donation driver working on it's a combat site. No, thank you. Turning that all off. Let's see. Scan. That's all done. Beautiful. The module nope. Has run out of charges. Reload that bad boy. <laughs> Uh, warp one. Warp drive active. Let me go look. I actually haven't looked at the list in chat. I recognize a lot of the names in there. <clears throat> Guys, if you haven't clicked that follow button, it's uh, free to do so, and uh, we stream pretty often. We try to put together a decent stream for you. Yeah, I did wormholes for a little while. Um, I don't know. I, I'm. I. It, it'll be fine. Every now and then it just goes goes like this. I just haven't had a have kind of dry run like this in a little while. Warp drive active. Go ahead and jump. <clears throat> oh man, the Cardinals beat my Braves. They are scary. Uh, there's only one, but it's an empty system, so let's go ahead and park somewhere and give it a look-see, shall we? Oh, Ram's logging off for the evening on the evening. Well, I shouldn't say for the evening. Lamb's are logging off. See everybody in chat, uh, in game. Appreciate y'all hanging out in there. Right. Okay. And 
Uh, there we go. Throw out some probes. Throw out some cloak. Hit my D-scan. Different control towers. Throw out the map. Boom. Just like that. Mm-hmm. That's how we do it. That's how we do it around here. All right, Ram. Very tasty. I enjoy that very much. It's a good drink, this. I'll try really tight first. So, uh, so anyway, guys. So, Monday, I'm going to be back on. We'll be doing Eve again. No, I don't want to power off. What are you doing? Um, we'll be doing Eve again. And uh, not sure what we'll be doing. Probably... At this point, I'm kind of back on an exploration kick. Although, um, and then my other problem is I want to do some stuff with, um, what am I doing? Madman. With, uh, E-Uni, because I did join them to kind of learn some stuff. And so, I may, we may end up switching a night or something like that around, um, to meet their schedule. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Might look at another data site. Preach. All yep. I'm finding are data sites, Preach. I'm sorry. <sighs> killing me. Just killing me. Okay, it's not really killing me. But it is driving me bonkers. You know what I might do? Oh, excuse me. I might do X plane. Get it. Get a goldfish. No, I'm done with goldfish. Destiny. It's not my destiny. It is not my destiny. <laughs> it's just the number of sites nobody wants them. Do 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 do. All right, there is one other person in system here. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm I'm a wannabe pilot. Um, eventually, I will get my license. Uh, just kind of wait until the kids are kind of out the door, and I got to drop some tonnage because I did uh, I did take a couple lessons, and uh, when I was skinny <clears throat> and being uh, being a little bit heavier now, I know how tight those 152s and 172s are, so. Uh, that'll be kind of a gift to myself. All right, let's go ahead and line up there, and then let's uh, throw that there out there, and then let's uh, throw that thing on, and then we'll throw the map on, and then we'll uh, we'll see what's going on there. But anyway, so yeah, I want to start getting into X Plane. I actually paid for a nice uh, yoke uh, some time ago. Um, part of me kind of wishes I'd bought a wheel at this point, but don't tell Preach I said that. Um, not because I don't want the yoke, but I'm just. I would probably use the wheel a little bit more right now. Um, but definitely don't pro tell Preach. Because he won't, he just won't let me live that down. <clears throat> I've been telling him for a few months to sell that yoke. I'm not selling it because if I sell it, I won't buy another one again until I actually start working on my license. I spent probably close to that makes sense. 300 something dollars. Yeah, but then I can't, I want to fly X Plane. I actually want to play the game. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. I enjoy flying a lot. And what's holding you back from playing it? Um, because once I set it, I, I want it. So you know how you can uh, get setups that you can just slide into place instead of having to mount it to your desk? That's what I want. I want to get kind of a setup like that. And so I'm looking at, I'm going to start looking at some of the PVC setups that people build out that look to be pretty good. So that I can just put it on furniture sliders and I can slide it off over there. And when I want to play it, I just bring it in and I plug it in and I'm done. Um... But because I also have to sit here for a lot of other things and it takes, you know, 10 minutes to tear it down or set it back up again and then pack it away. I know it doesn't sound like much, but when you do it, when you're just trying to play a game. Um, like you've got your whole steering wheel system pretty much all integrated, right? Into one system. Um, when I switch between this and my regular chair, it does take. 
minutes, eight, ten minutes. Because I have to slide the chair in, plug it all in, then I gotta, um, I gotta, um, move all my monitor. I gotta move my monitors and everything. Make sure stuff is, um, you know, set up properly and everything. Another day as I preach. Not a word, J. Roy. Not a word. Not a word. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, I think the other thing is I won't wouldn't mind setting it up so much if I knew more about how to properly play it. Um, if you understood what I mean, like I know how to get in and I can. Fly. The only one way to know how to do it. It's Same thing with it. Eve. Is to do it, yeah. You keep doing that. <laughs> J. Roy. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You find data. I never find them to be more profitable. Ever. And everybody else has basically told me the same thing. They don't They don't see it. You're, you're the only person I know that, it, that has said that they're more profitable. That I've run across. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to, to dispute what you're saying. I'm just saying, from my perspective, they just haven't been worth it for some reason. Although, I'm going to be honest with you. If I find one more data site, I'm going to it just so I can finish hacking something. Man, <clears throat> Indianapolis on the fixed setup in 10 laps. My right front went down 10%. Really? That's bad. You're not going to get very many laps out of that. Nope. <laughs> I actually thought about running. Yeah, it's also a potential danger. It's like a risk-reward type of thing. You gonna run tonight? No, no. I thought about running the fit, full fix race on Sunday night. Oh, oh wow! A rare Sunday stream from us. Or would you not stream that? I'd probably stream it. I may break down and do that. That one, kid. Just the fixed setup is so loose. Loose is fast. If you can control it. If you can control it, yeah. I don't know that I can. <laughs> I just realized something. I haven't like stood up in a while. It's a combat site. All right. I'm going to a data site. I'm just going to do it. Uh. Oh good, and the one person that was in system is now gone, so I feel a little safer about doing this. Slancha. And I nailed it first try. Well, not first try, but you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying, saying? That's just all I'm trying to say, say. Reload. Warp to zero. Warp to guess. Oh. Woo, oh, 0400 Eve time. <clears throat> okay, nobody's here, nobody's in system. Sort this stuff by that. We're going to come in here, we're going to go boom. Approach, super fast. Oh my lord, what was that? My kids. <laughs> Sound like somebody just like got beat. What are you doing? Alright. Like the Hulk or what? I gotta get my mouse in a better position. It's like really awkward right now for some reason. Let me try that. Mm, 
five. That's not over here. I'm gonna have to kill that one right there. All right, so I don't know which one of these two I should use on a uh, firewall. So this is uh, polymorphic perfects protects the virus from two attacks. Kernel rot halves the coherence of a defensive subsystem or system core. Left click and use it. So I would think I would do kernel rot because that's kind of a that's eighty is kind of a heavy duty one. What do you guys think? And I feel safe talking about this right now because there's nobody else in the system. But this delay kills me. Man. I just totally saved your face. My face? Yep. Oh, on the back of the car? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I had the car sideways. Saved it. <clears throat> 618 grand. Well, thank you for saving face. Particularly mine. Yeah, guys, uh, do follow us on Twitter as well. Um, I admit that we are not, we don't post that quite as much as we should, but we're going to be doing that soon. Um, again, as we're, as more and more, we're adding more and more things. Uh, pretty soon, too, the Rescast TV show that we recorded on uh, last Monday is going to be live up on Twitter. I'm sorry, on our yeah. YouTube channel. What's up? Oh, it's up there. So, guys, go check out the uh, Rescast TV show that we recorded last week. It was episode one. Episode two is Monday. Right? Correct. Yeah, episode two is going to be Monday, streamed live here on uh, Twitch. Um, and that, too, will end up end up on um, our YouTube channel as well. Um, the video quality is kind of uh, a little so-so because we export it from YouTube. Um, we're going to try to do something a little bit cleaner. Dude, this is not going well. All right, now I'm just looking for tools. Would love a wrench right now. Would love a wrench. Ugh. I love how fast this track feels in a NASCAR. Like, I feel like it feels faster than Daytona and Talladega, even. Yeah. Just because of the way the track is designed and everything. It's a lot closer to, like, Pocono than it is those other tracks. Which somebody told me the other day that Pocono's turn two was purposely designed to look like the Indy uh, the Indy turn. Stop it! Now that one was easy. Come on, come on. All right, here we go. Yeah, 618 is better than nothing. Um, I would still really like to get to a relic site at some point. Um, that I don't that I don't get kicked off of. But I guess that them's the brakes when you're out there doing that stuff. That's what happens. Um. Um, one of the things everybody should know too is that when they watch my new the new video that's being uploaded right now, um, when it finally goes live on YouTube, there is a intro that nobody's seen on it yet. Ooh, new intro, folks! New intro. Oh my
Oh, you're killing me. You really are killing me. I like kind of clear off extra paths, even though it, it doesn't necessarily, uh... Three, two... Oh, no. Goodbye. Mm-mm. Really need a wrench right now. Mm -mm. Great, and I just lost that. I should have grabbed it. Fives, fives, fives. There we go. All right, which one do you think? Um, I'm going to do this one up here. No! Dang it. I'm really not good at this. Actually, some nights I do better than others. I'm just not paying attention very closely. <clears throat> you blew it up. I know. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do in those. Well, it's a little more exciting. Is it? That's what I needed before. Sorry about that, Mark. Oh, Die Foration. Hey, what's up? Really? Okay, that I did not know. If a node is surrounded by six other nodes, it's 100% safe to click it. You will never get a firewall doing so. Really? That's good to know. All right. So no problem, sir. No problem at all. If a node is surrounded by six other nodes, it's a hundred percent. You will never get yeah, okay. All right. So all right. I need to remember that. Thank you. The only scenario in which follow up period if a node is surrounded by six nodes, it means the core is next to the firewall you just uncovered. Now you can do any sites without ever failing. So when you say no, you're literally just any one of the, the nodes at all. They don't have to be... Um... Wait a minute, let me read what you said again. If a node is surrounded by six other nodes... Yeah, can you do that? On your next hack, if you want. Let's take you a screenshot. All right. Warp drive active. And I always follow the border, so that's interesting. So I've been doing it completely the opposite of how it should be. Actually, you know what? I follow the border typically because the middle is often blocked. But normally, if it's not, I go through kind of diagonally through the middle. Um, but not always. But I will make more of an effort to do that now. Yeah, I think I might have even heard that before, so... Night. And they hate it because they have no clue, they say bad tips. Well, I will definitely uh, give that a shot on my next one. I'm trying to understand what you mean by if you're, they're surrounded by six nodes. I mean, there's always something surrounded by six nodes. Do you mean uncovered nodes, nodes that I've opened? Uh, okay. Boom. 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 So I'm moving. I've got probes out. I got that. Okay, good. <coughs>
Okay, cool. I appreciate it. Hopefully we get something good on this one. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Let's see if that does the trick. Man. What are you what are you doing right now, Preach? I'm driving the Rescast TV Chevy at Indianapolis in practice. Alright, we've got a relic site. We do have one person in um in system. He's in a, I see a worm is in system. I don't know if that's him or not, but That's what's showing up on D scan anyway. I also see a saber on D scan. So those must be over at a um what a POS right because I only see one other person in system but I see a couple of ships all right let's bring those bad daddies back in there let's see here mr. tiz that's what I'm seeing all right relic site let's hope uh I really hope they're not here to um, hang out. There are no stations, so they may be sitting there waiting for me to come by the relic site. Okay, I don't have any ships here. Oh, this relic site's already been picked clean. There's only one that's not done. I don't even know if it's worth it. I don't even know if it's worth checking out. I feel like that's a good time to run away. Well, I'm I'm watching. I'm just going to start, start, start again. Mammoth, Saber, Worm. Why does this list look longer? Your ResCast TV logo is blocking. Oops, my bad. There we go, I moved it. Um, I'm just making sure that... I'm not even looking at my numbers right now. I'm so busy looking at my overview. And I'm really messing things up. Shoot. You rock. I appreciate that. I am stinking things up. <laughs> he's fighting at the moment, so he's not there. <laughs> Who's fighting? I'm not even I'm not even thinking about what he said to me a little while ago. Pretty much telling you he's not there in the system that come after you. Twenty nine thousand isk. That's what was in there. That's all right. I got a screenshot. Oh, and the dude that was in system split. Wait a minute, there's another cosmic signature there. That's partially scanned down. I don't remember partially scanning down. A... Interesting, I wonder if it popped up while I was in the middle of... Um... Okay, fair enough. Let's scan that one down. Going to modify and pay. I'm fighting at the moment in EVE. Oh. He's able to chat and do screenshot stuff and fight at the same time.
Oh, man. That or he just used that as a tactic to find out where I am and come track me down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love trolling people. Uh, all right. So let's see. I'm moving. They're out. Okay, good. Fair enough. He doesn't need that to track me down. That's all right there. <coughs> Preach, you there? Are you there, Preach? Are you sure? Just driving a NASCAR real fast. I know you can. I was it was more of a joke. Like I said, I mean I'm hiding a bunch of the screen. I know some people are gonna be able to figure out how to get to me. But I'm not really deliberately doing too much hiding. CCP Avalon, wow, long time no see. How you doing this evening? We're just doing a little bit of uh exploration. Some interceptor ex interceptor exploration. Oh, it's combat site. And no, thank you. Hope you're doing well. And. Dude. Mr. Tiz is back. These tires fall off so fast. On to the next location. You know, I'm reading that statement from uh, Diaphoration there. And even though I know that he he can find out where I am at any time, it's still creepy when he says, I can always tell where you are. <laughs> it's just creepy. <laughs> uh, I am doing great, especially since it's the weekend right now. Oh, my goodness, y'alls. Cosmic SIG, all the Cosmic SIGs we haven't found on that long, they're all here. Party! Warp drive this is what we've been waiting for all night long. Um, yeah, so I'm glad it's the it's the weekend. I'm planning on a weekend of um, Eve and coding for my own personal project, not for work. So I'm looking forward to that and uh, hanging out with the family a little bit. Alrighty, so we are aligned. Throw out probes. Throw on cloak. Throw out map. So many to choose from. Um, ready for cooler weather, but uh, to come. But uh, here in Central Florida, that's not going to happen for a couple more months. Welcome back, Ram. Oh, okay, diaphragm. We'll find one here. What is on my face? I've been saying that for years, dude. Did your oh did the hangout kind of screw up? Let me look. Hang on. Oh, it was asking me if I'm still there. That's weird. Oh. That was my fault then. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez, <clears throat> Reach, get that thing off your face. Oh, wait, sorry. Wow. 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 Well, that time I went 10 laps, and my tires only went down to 95. So 5% loss. Yeah, but the you, first two times I did 10 laps, they went down 10%. You were more cautious. I guess so. My I speeds were so. quite a bit slower, too. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Holy cow. So Preach is playing uh, iRacing. That's uh, that's kind of one of his primaries that he plays, and uh, I'm hoping to kind of start joining him every now and then um, <clears throat> in the next couple of months because um, we are both uh, both kind of car guys, and uh, uh, we dig racing. And so um, it's a really it's a fantastic racing game from what I've seen. I haven't played it before, but. You enjoy it a lot, Preach. I love it. It's so much fun. It really is. Even when I get frustrated, I don't... I mean, it's just a lot of fun. Okay, that's combat site, so we won't do that one. And when they add in the dynamic track stuff and the DirectX 11, it's going to be the best game ever. Well, best racing game ever. Nope, best game. 
ever. Wow. There's a lot of good games out there. I know. <clears throat> oh, I've got two spheres. Dang it. Think about what I'm saying there. <laughs> I mean, I do. I hear what you're saying. What I'm telling you is there have been a lot of games throughout history that are pretty amazing. I understand, but when you can take a racing game, yes, and you can add day-night transition, and when the night changes to day or vice versa, the track changes with it. It's going to be one of the is it will be the best racing sim ever produced. That I would probably agree with. Um, and Ram, yes, you're 100 percent right. We used to race Forza on Xbox, and uh, I hated playing it with a controller, but uh, we I had a wheel. And uh, and I loved playing it with a, with a wheel because it, it gave you a little more simulation. Um, obviously, a more simulation type of feel. So let's see, we got 800. Dude, he would get so mad at me, though, because with the controller, you could do um, a clutch shift, like a manual shift with clutch. Yeah, which I couldn't do. And literally, it was just hitting two buttons, and it made you faster. And so everybody was doing that who played with a controller. Well, Damien's wheel did not have a clutch on it. It only had like the paddle shifter, shifter paddles, which was like an automatic and, paddle um, shifting. <clears throat> it had like manual auto clutch, and he would we'd be like side by side going down a straightaway. I would shift and I would just go. The few times I could He'd catch be preach so because mad. because yes, you know definitely he was faster because he could he could use the clutch. But at the same time, he's also a better race car driver than I am. Just point blank, pure and simple. Why did I just click? <clears throat> iRacing does good stuff, though, too, because the way they do the saving, they got the painting aspect of everything in here, too. It's yep. just... I agree. Across the board, it is, hands down, one of the one of the coolest things I've ever done. I mean, the ResCast TV car is... It's a pretty awesome-looking paint job on that car. Well, I'm getting klutzy with this right now. Colin McRae Rally on PlayStation was really good in my memory. Anything Rally Car to me is good because I love Rally Car. They have a dirt rally that's a, uh, it's, what do they call it, early release? Beta? Alpha? No, no, it's like you can buy it on Steam, but it's like an early release game. Anyway, they have that <clears throat> as an early release game right now. And it um, gets really, really good reviews. It's gotten really good reviews. It's like 30 bucks, maybe 40 It is early access, okay. So when you get a wheel, you can actually check that out. Yep. It's coming. Just going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so most of these are turning into combat sites. Hmm. Which would be great Can you if I was imagine? Combat. Hey? Can you imagine the amount of rubber that would have been on the track after that race the other night if this was the dynamic track stuff? Uh, there would have been a lot. That was a long that would have been race. Cool to see, right? Yeah. yeah. A few cautions, a lot of cars out there. It's another data site. Just say no to data sites, kids. Uh, I am not talking about Wreckfest. Um, there is literally... Oh, wrong button. There is literally a... Why is that not centering on my screen when I double-click it? iRacing game. Weird. Um, called Dirt Rally. Or not iRacing. It's a Steam game called Dirt Rally. That is in early access, and it. Um, I mean, it's a, I'm just hearing good things about it. I may check it out at some point. It's made by the people who made Dirt, but this one like goes back to the roots, I guess, and is really good. So, I did see that next car game, Wreckfest. That just looked weird to me.
I do remember there was a um, like a I don't remember if it was on the original Xbox or if it was on the Xbox 360 but there was a driving game where you literally did all the crazy like trailer races and figure 8 races and stuff like that that was a fun game demo derbies you found a sleeper site? Or are you talking about a ghost site? Because the ghost sites, I think, I've never, I don't, I don't remember if I've hit one or not, but I know that if you don't get the ghost site right within a certain amount of time, it just goes kaflooey. Like, there's a clock that starts. I don't know if it's as soon as you come on field or as soon as you try hacking the first thing, but... Kind of a mellow stream tonight, guys. Uh, I don't know, like the weeks kind of beat me up or whatever, but the bad jokes have not been rolling tonight. And I, I do apologize because I do like getting those bad jokes out there. Need to zoom in. Uh, I don't know, it was one spot to crack. And it chat it ticked down from two minutes. As soon as you start hacking, yeah, that's it. That's the that's the um, that's a ghost site. Is what it sounds like to me. Yeah, there you go. Ramp said it sounds like a ghost site. You have a certain amount of time before it, it goes kaflooey. But are you more likely to pick up something like a BPC at a ghost site? Is there a higher percentage of that? Like you, there you get a better chance of getting something really good at a ghost site and it kind of compensate for the danger. I think that may not be true. It's another combat site. So all these combat sites. So we roll on. Warp drive. All right, Ram, have a good one. All right, Ram, have a good evening. Thanks for hanging out tonight. I appreciate it. Um, if we don't Bye, see you this weekend, Ram. we'll see you on uh, Monday. And uh, Sassy Last, thank you so much. It's been a great honor having you here. Um, uh, I really appreciate it. I hope to see you around soon. That's pretty cool. Didn't it preach? It is. Sassy Last showing up. Very cool. Oh, message deleted. Let me see. Yes, you can. I thought I deleted that out of the... Oh, I don't know. I just grabbed a big old giant word list off the internet and dropped it in there when we first set all this up. And I didn't even really look at it super closely, so. Um, we just try to keep it generally clean. I just went out and looked up a words list, grabbed it, and pasted it. So if there's a weird word in there, I guess we need to yank that out. But I've noticed sometimes it blocks normal, like parts of normal words. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep it moving. Let's throw us probes. Let's, uh, I got to walk through this every single time. See, that's what got me when diaphoration picked me off. And I kept having to uncloak and recloak. I clicked the button, but I guess when you drag... No. Somehow I clicked it, and it didn't actually click. Because I, I heard it. Ugh. Total noob fest. Yes, exactly. Yes. You can't say alls. That's just not a word you could, you're allowed to say. <coughs> okay, we got some people in system. Keep an eye on them. The, that one kid, the reason why it did you was because you had wrote it all in caps. Oh, okay. 
I mean, we try to keep it generally family friendly just because, you know, we've got some kids and stuff like that that watch our stream and we both got kids and all that jazz. But I mean, it's not to be perfect. But it's, like I said, I just grabbed a whole a word list when we set this all up and threw it in there. So, Relic Sight. Of course, there's two people in here that. And again. Oh, it might help if I'm. See what happens. See what happens, Captain. Eh. Nah, it's no big deal. No big deal. <clears throat> it's just there just so we don't have to all right. lease all that stuff. Bring those bad boys in. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Actually, let me do this. All right, I'm gonna jump out of here. You heading off? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm gonna clear these uh, two signatures right here, and then I'm gonna head off. So um, let's hope, right. let's hope I get something good. You have a good evening, preach. I will talk to you this weekend, and um, and you might stream Saturday or Sunday. So um, we'll see you yeah, then. If not, awesome. we'll we'll talk to you soon. All right. See Thanks you guys. for hanging out. Yep. Whew! Glad that guy's gone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Interesting. I got a bad feeling about this one. I really, honestly, I do. I got a bad feeling. Something's not sitting right. Something is not sitting right. Diaphoration, you ready for your screenshot? There's a Markiel. Okay, I got nothing, 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 nothing. Everything's clear. Okay. There's one spot there. So if it drops down one, I go. Okay, how many in your local? I've got two. Two of my local on D scan, I have a Markale. Okay, guy just shows up. I gotta leave. Stero popped up, guys. I had to split. <sighs> Warp drive active. Was it up long enough for you to get a screenshot? Actually, it was probably covered by Rescast TV, wasn't it? Oh, good. Good, good, good. Warp drive active. Dang it. What just happened? Did that mark you? What just happened? I don't know what that explosion was. Warp drive active. Was that a bomb?
I got bombed! I've never been bombed before. Warp drive active. I've never been bombed before. I have to Google smart bombs now. Because that was like lightning. It just happened. There was no targeting. It's like, so they just lay the bombs in the path and it just blows up? Yeah, I'm, I'm in my golden pod. Docking permission requested. Docking Does AOE? Requested. Yeah, it must. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I must have smacked right into it. Oh, I gotta go turn this off. Makes sense. That, yeah. So it's just laying bombs in, in my path. That's... I should have... Mm, did I go gate to gate? I wonder if I'd come from a different path if he would have had... Like a drag bubble, you gotta go... You know, if you go gate to gate, drag bubble will get you right. So is it the same thing? They kind of know right where you're gonna come through. So if I should have hopped maybe planets instead of... I don't remember if I went to one of my bookmarks and warped there or if I went gate to gate. I may have gone gate to gate. Hmm... That's no bueno. Stink. Let's go look at the kill mail. Or uh, lost mail, I should say. What a dork, man. Oh, uh, see, so normally when I get chased off a site, I'll run off to a bookmark and then come back to the gate. Um, but at that time I didn't. That's what it was, right? I'm trying to remember. I'm tired. So from now on, I should always try. I mean, it could still screw me up if my bookmark is in between the, 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 the site and the gate. But would it have been a little bit better chance of getting through that gate if I had gone to my bookmark and then the gate? I'm gonna have to YouTube some some of these smart bombs because I've heard about them. I've just never I've never run into them before. Okay, all right. Well, hmm. not nice, bomb, bomber, dude. I don't know. Pretty heavy duty bounty on his head. Yeah, I'm sure they practice that. Well, it is part of the game. It's that stupid mock game. Uh, that. Um, stop clicking the wrong things. That mock real. Well, stink, guys. So even if I come in from a different angle, it still would have popped me? Okay, so let's see here. Let me, uh, let me do this real quick. Hang on there, diaphragation. Hang on. And 
there and browser. Okay, so so if I took a different angle, I could have been fine. All right, so the nodes that are circled in red are 100% safe. Because this has one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I correct? So basically, if you can make a diamond around Okay, so if you can make a diamond around a node, then it's okay to click that node. You click it, and then decide which direction to go from there. Is that is that basically it? So if I came in here right now, if I was completely fresh in here, I would go, okay, um, that one has a diamond all the way around it, so I know I can click this one. And I would click that, and that's kind of how that works. I'm going to save this uh, this link off. This is actually really good to have. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much, Diaphoration. I will definitely start applying that to my, uh, to my hacking um, and uh, go from there. Um, so it's been an eventful night. Uh, we had a nice long evening. Um, it's almost uh, 0500 Eve time. Uh, I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. If you haven't hit follow button, please go ahead and do so. Um, like I said, Preacher Man and I, we, uh, we stream five to six nights a week, um, and we do a lot of Eve. A lot of eye racing. Uh, he does mostly eye racing. I do mostly Eve, um, and uh, uh, we'll also do Hawken, Fallout, you know, things like that. And uh, so, click that follow button so you know when we're on. Also, we're going to be doing a 300 follower giveaway. We just did our 200 follower giveaway last week. It was a $20 Amazon gift card, and uh, and so uh, follow us now, and um, so you'll know when that happens for our 300 follower. J Roy, let me look um, real quick. What are we looking for? A combat log. Mm. This is the combat log right here, yeah? <laughs> 45 million, which means I probably it was probably worth about 50 or 60 million. Uh, that one, kid. Thank you very much. Yeah, I I don't know what's going to be happening at that time of the day, but I've definitely got the reminder set, and uh, and I would appreciate it. it. It'll be a lot of fun. Um. So, uh, wh what are you looking for specifically, J. Roy? I can tell you, it was this dude that was a big, not nice bomber dude. It was a Sancha, true Sancha large EMP smart bomb. Oh, right there. That's what you're looking for. Power grid, da, 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 attributes. Structure hit points, 40. Area of effect, 7,500 meters. It did 375 hit points. Wow. Crazy. So, yeah. That's kind of a bummer way to end the night. I mean, all my work for naught. I got it all blown up. Uh, normally, I drop off my payload when I get closer to uh, 100 million isk. Um, but I didn't take into account smart bombing. So maybe I need to work on a fit that's got a little more tank. 
Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Cause you got to be within twenty five hundred to war to to use the gate. So he would have hit me either way. So now, does he have to time that perfectly, or can he like set the bomb right there and then detonate it? Like, I don't know how those work. I'm gonna have to check YouTube on how they work. Um, cause I mean, I was not there very long. I was turning and going. So that's kind of a letdown, but that's Eve. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you, uh, you blow up. So anyway, all right, guys, uh, I want to thank you guys very much for hanging out. It was a lot of fun. Um, I appreciate it. We had some cool people stop by and that includes you, every single one of you. Um, it's, uh, it's always a lot of fun and, uh, I'm always, uh, continue to be like really surprised at how much I really am enjoying this. And, uh, and I love that you guys are, um, are hanging out with me, uh, from kind of all parts of the globe. So, um, thank you very much. Please do click the follow button if you haven't. Um, otherwise good night, stay safe, drive safe, live safe and have fun and enjoy your weekend. Um, possible stream this weekend, preach and might stream Saturday. I'm sorry, Sunday. Um, slim chance I might stream tomorrow. Um, otherwise, we are scheduled to be back on Monday with me on Eve. Um, see you then. Thanks a lot.